everyone welcome to our autumn long play series today we're gonna do one with some casual commentary as we're collecting some resources and just uh getting some things done around our area so grab some drinks and some snacks i currently have a cozy fall candle that's called autumn leaves burning right now so it smells like fall in my place and i love it so much but for today, we're going to be building an enchanting tower because my tools aren't doing the best. Like, I'd love to be able to get some enchanted tools. We're playing in peaceful, so I don't need to worry about armor. Just because we don't have hostile mobs in here that would kind of, like, attack us and everything. Which is actually very nice gameplay. Like, game mode to play in. I've actually really enjoyed it. And so, I'm not going to need to worry about my... Uh, like my armor or anything but I'm going to work on the tools and then the place we're going to be putting this tower is going to be right in here if I go into free cam we can kind of get a better idea of like what's around our area what we have so this is going to be the spot and I thought it would just look cool to kind of be like towering up above everything and then from the windows we'd be able to get a really pretty view of this entire very fall vibes filled dark oak forest so we need to collect a lot of resources and we also need to flatten this little area out because we're going to be building a five by five tall tower that's going to go up like 17 blocks so we're going to need to collect a ton of oak that's probably the main thing that i'll need today and i know for a fact that over here there's more of a oak forest since this is just a dark oak forest that we're living in so we're gonna go over here and collect some oak and the oak has these like dark red leaves which is really pretty but that's how we can tell that we're looking for the oak and I need to be careful I don't fall into pits because I didn't realize there was like ravines around our area so much. So I need to not uh, fall. I haven't like died in this world yet. And that's partially because we don't have hostile mobs. So I can just like run around at night. I don't need to worry about it. So if anyone's just like wanting to play in Minecraft but not have to worry about the mobs, Playing in peaceful is actually really nice. It also will automatically refill your hunger bar. So when uh, in our first long play series that I made, or I guess it's just the video in the first long play that I made, I didn't realize I didn't need to be collecting food because I was just going to have my hunger bar like always filled. So I just was like going around murdering a bunch of animals and I didn't even need to do that. Also, every once in a while, I might just, like, pause the game momentarily because I am kind of recovering from a cold. And so I might just, like, pause or mute my mic and cough a little bit. So if you notice any of that, uh, that is what is happening. I feel like this is the season for it. But let's see. Oh, I should have maybe brought a second axe with us. We might go back. But we're just going to do some resource collecting. I need like so much oak for this because I decided in creative when I was working on this build that we were going to just build with fully like stripped oak logs. So like I'm going 17 up and then in a 5 by 5 circle of this block. So it's not even like we're converting it into the planks. We're literally just taking this. So I need so much of this. But that's what we're going to work on collecting. And what's also nice is like we can just be out at night and the night sky is so pretty. But I, yeah, I love this little world so much. I'm so glad I decided to make one with this like autumn pack. I was pretty proud of myself. I decided to like grab all of the different mods and put it into a mod pack. And this was the first time I like did something like this myself. Like, I've never made a mod pack before, so this was the first time I've tried it. Ooh, okay, so if we need birch, there's tons of birch. We also need to be collecting sugarcane because we are building an enchanting setup, and so I'm going to need so many books to make bookshelves, and I think what might be easiest is if we're able to find a village. So hopefully we'll be able to move pretty quick on building up the tower itself. I think because I've already made this in creative, it should be a little bit easier just because I've already made it once. So I have like the feel for it. I know exactly like the dimensions, like how high, how wide. So it should be a little easier. 
but we're just going to focus on that first and then hopefully we'll have time and we're able to kind of like explore this area hopefully find a village find a bunch of cows hopefully so that we can actually get the uh the leather that we need but i think along the way we're probably unfortunately just going to need to be killing the cows and collecting leather so i'm just going to kind of stock the leather here with the sugar cane the wool i just am slowly collecting if i want to make like paintings or anything for our little house but yeah this is just going to be a uh, very like cozy it's a long play you'll get to see the entire process of me building it from starting just collecting all the supplies all the way till the end when you get to see everything decorated and done and we get to look back at the progress we made in this little long play and you kind of just get a friend to kind of talk with you know just along the way whatever you're doing if you're using these to study just have on in the background or you actively are just watching and enjoying the progress of the video uh, i hope that this can provide some good vibes for whether you're studying you're working on stuff you've just got it on in the background at your place or you're falling asleep to it i hope that this little long play can just uh kind of be like a friend hanging out you know you just get to have this playing we get to hang out together and just do some building and collecting i'm not gonna like be always making like commentary like constantly just because i'm trying to focus on different building segments and things but i think it will just be a really fun little time to hang out together and i need to find where okay i'm pretty sure this is the oak yes this is the oak forest i also love how the birch leaves look like, I love how this pack makes the leaves look. Like, I'm so happy with this. I was literally so proud of myself for making a mod pack. And I also think, guys, that what I also want to do is make a, like, winter one. And I've already started setting aside some mods to make a mod pack for, like, a Christmassy one. And it one of them turns the sugar cane uh, into red and white striped candy cane instead so it would literally look like we just have like candy cane sticking out of the water which I thought was so cool uh, so that's another little mini long play series I thought would be fun maybe uh, when I add music into these we can have some more like Christmassy like lo-fi or something to just be there alongside the long play itself just making some cozy Christmas vibes but yeah, I, I love doing these seasonal like themed ones. I think that's really fun. And honestly, like fall is my favorite. So I'm also just like thriving with this world. But I feel like I need to have like a like a pumpkin drink or like a, you know, an apple cider or something that's like very fall, you know, to like drink as I'm watching. Uh, well, as I'm building, you'd be watching. Maybe you'll get some tasty little drink to enjoy while we do this little long play here i'm just i wonder how many stacks i'll need actually here i know how to uh mark this out let's get to a little clearing because what i need to do is i need to have three we're just gonna clear this three one three we'll move this one three one and the F flower one two three and one okay so i'm going to need yikes okay so we need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen stacks of well i don't need 16 stacks but i think that let's see if i need to go there's 16 and there's seven i'm just going to do some quick math here so we need 272 if we divide that i need like four stacks but we'll get five stacks of oak so what i'm going to do is we're just going to kind of put these to the side and we'll do one two three four five and that'll kind of be our measure for how much more oak we need to collect but i'm just gonna pick these guys up but now i know like how much oak we actually need to be picking up so uh, that's an easy little hack if you're like trying to remember how much you need to grab I like to just lay it all out in my inventory I feel like it just makes it a little bit more straightforward so that I know like exactly when I get the amounts that I need 
which I think is super helpful. They're also getting so many of these oak saplings. I also love how the saplings themselves are like a, a reddish color. Like, I think it's so pretty. I'm a big fan of this pack. We gotta jump up here. Sometimes these oak trees are a little, a uh, little bit of a pain <laughs> because they just are everywhere. Um, we're gonna grab our shears, even though they're almost dead. Oh, yep, there they go. Okay. Now we just need to get them. Get all the little logs that are hiding around in here. Hopefully we won't have floating logs. I'm hoping. Oh man, this just keeps going. Okay. Um, I feel like there's something. Yeah, there's some other. Yeah, okay. This is why the big oak trees are sometimes a pain. They just hide in here. They're so sneaky. Okay, this is starting to decay. I think we got this tree. I th think we're good. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's definitely slowly decaying, perfect. Okay, grab all of these. I'm also not like upset about collecting even more of these leaves because they're so pretty and they make for a great build decor. But maybe I should have brought my more shears out here while I was running. Okay, let's click this. Um, is that the only log that I needed? And then we'll grab this tree. We gotta make it out, there we go. Just, you know, casually deforesting this whole entire field of oak trees. It's fine. Ooh, it's starting to get morning. I also love the morning, like, sunrise in this area because all of the leaves just look so pretty with the sun against them. I love it so much. Like, ugh, it's so pretty. Alright, we've almost... We've got two stacks, almost three. If I... Put these here, we've got 62, okay. We're getting there slowly but surely. We're getting all of the logs. I do wish that these would uh maybe grow like the dark oaks where it's like you can get four saplings to grow in one. I don't have like a whole lot of bone meal which is like one of the issues I have right now but hopefully we'll have an easy way to collect some bone meal. Uh, right now I've just been like collecting leaves and then using them to uh, compost. Oh, there's some cows over here. We'll have to collect them. Okay, hi, Mr. Cow, I'm sorry. You are going to help make our enchanting table. Oh, there's leaves. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. Thank you very much. Oh, he didn't even drop leather. I'm sorry I had to kill you. And you. Okay, we've got three. So far, not so good with just uh, <laughs> how much leather we're going to need to make books and then bookshelves. I hope we're able to find a village that has some bookshelves because, uh, yeah, right now this is going to take a while. We might have to be mass breeding up our cows or, I mean, we might need just to make one of those like cow crushers. But I really, that takes a while to get all of the cows to like be bred up enough so that they're at like the cram capacity. But usually in my let's plays that I've made, I've made two different series that I've made a cow crusher in and it is so helpful. It does sound very inhumane, but as far as getting like food whenever you need it and leather, it works so well. So I'm like... I'm always kind of one now that I kind of just want to like make a cow crusher whenever I make a new like let's play series or a new world because they're just super convenient. Uh, they, they are a little sad so if you can get past the uh, <laughs> cramming cows into a small uh, one by one you know uh, for the sake of getting food and leather from them you know it's, uh, it works great. Okay so we're almost to where we need to be we just need a little bit more and then we've got all the oak that we'll need which is great 
I, uh, whenever I'm building in creative and then I like really like how a build turns out, then I start thinking about like, okay, collecting these resources in survival or peaceful where you legit, is that a, <gasps> oh, hey, okay, we're gonna go over there next once we collect up all of these. But whenever I'm like in creative, I like forget how sometimes once I'm not in creative, it's a little bit harder to collect all of the resources that I decided to make a said build out of. Let's see if we get a little chicken. Nope. Okay. In the last long play that I did, I threw four chicken eggs and I got four chicks. Like I had a four for four on the eggs so i was convinced that you just always get the chicken like the babies in peaceful but that just uh proved me wrong which means that was a very lucky bunch of like egg tosses okay all right so we've almost got our stacks that we needed which is great we do need to collect a bunch of deep slate too um, oh, I should actually probably get more than just the five stacks because I'm also using like fence gates in oak. We're using trap doors that are oak. So we are going to need to probably get more than just, uh, the five stacks. So maybe I'll just get an extra, uh, stack just to have on hand. Like, I think that's still a good idea to do. So we'll just collect... A little bit more and then we're gonna go check out that village oh there's some more cows we gotta grab them i really hope Ooh, is that a village no that's just a very interesting little uh segment of land hi there cows i'm sorry oh you didn't give me leather hi i'm sorry oh no you didn't either whoops okay sorry i didn't mean to murder you then because i don't really need to eat in this world here hi chicken hello i hope you guys are having a good start to fall i know for a lot of people it's back to school and so you're in classes you're getting used to getting your homework and just getting all of that stuff done i hope the fall season is going really well for you guys for me, I I love fall, so I'm enjoying it a lot. Just the leaves turning, at least where I live, the leaves will actually turn, like, not all red like this, but they'll turn colors of, like, oranges and some reds, and it's really pretty. Just getting some, like, different colored leaves, they'll turn, like, yellow, uh, and I think that's probably one of my favorite things about fall, but I hope you guys are having a good fall season i think that's why this series to me is way more fun because it's fall right now and it's just themed well but i hope while you're watching this long play or have it on in the background that you have some cozy things around you i have a cup of coffee and i added some cream and some maple syrup as a sweetener um i usually add like a creamer but I wanted to try adding a different type of a sweetener. And I've tried those like maple lattes where like it's a latte, but they add like maple syrup to it for the sweetener. And I really liked those. So I figured we might as well try it in just like a coffee. I made it home with some cream and it's been really yummy. Okay, we've got the oak that we need. I'm already running out of space. So let's prioritize. I want to chuck this egg again. Oh, we got a little chicky. Hi, buddy. Hello. Welcome to the world. It's a very cozy world. Um, let's get rid of these guys. Oh, I could make a shovel. Good to know. Okay. Um, okay. I think we're going to put our axe back. Oh, no. It's about to break. <gasps> oh, I don't want it to break. If this breaks on this cow. Okay. Um, I can't use this anymore. I need to make, uh, something different, but we're gonna go grab whatever's in the village. Um, guys, I also would feel kind of bad about this, but, like, if I don't find enough leather from cows, there's all of these horses here, and I, I would feel really bad because the horses are just cute, but there's so many horses here. Like, holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven twelve my goodness yeah 
So uh, we might have to do some horse murders to get enough le like leathers for building our enchanting setup. But hopefully this place will get us some good stuff as well. Oh, and there's more horses. Okay, I don't see... Uh, I always look for the, the blacksmiths. Just because they can like get us the most like goods. Um, we'll take the emeralds and the bread, I guess. Let's try in here. Nope. Okay. Oh, we've got some pigs and some sheep. Okay. Um, let's make a crafting table quickly. Because I want to have a little bit of, uh, sticks. And we want to make ourselves... Oh, I need to add more into here. I want to make an axe so that we have something to get the cows. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. Come on. Don't run. Just, just take it. Just, I'm sorry. Hello? You hiding? Ooh, wow, you actually gave us a decent amount of leather. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, a little bed. Um, I don't think we can grab anything else there. We'll grab this sugar cane. Okay, we'll check this house. Not seeing any books anywhere. We might grab the iron from this iron golem because I always run out of iron and we could make an iron axe pretty easily. So I definitely will probably do that. Oh, okay. Don't need anything here. Um, oh, leather. Okay, leather worker. Perfect. There's a house down here. Some down here. We've got a cleric. Okay, nothing in there. Um, Let's take a, like a, like a little look out here. Let's see what's here. Okay, definitely no blacksmith. Ooh, but there's a bunch more cows over there. And horses. Oh, and there's a bee! We can get little bees. Okay, that's fun. Let's see what's over here, too. Um, that was that landmass we saw. That was a little funky. Okay, some cows. Pumpkins. Okay. Let's go down. I wish there was like loot in here, not just like just the little like church steeple thing. Hi, excuse me. I can only sleep at night? Okay. Having shaders sometimes tricks me into thinking that I'll be able to go to sleep in a world, but then it's like not even like dark enough yet. Ah, took a sip of my little coffee. So toasty. All right, let's go look over here, see what we can find. I don't think I'm gonna find any of the like supplies that I actually wanted. Um, blast furnace, that can like get things nice and cooked up quick for us. Um, hi there. Hmm, okay, nothing in here. I feel like I'm starting to like forget which ones I've looked in because the villagers keep on closing the doors and opening them, so it's hard for me to tell. I don't know why I'm taking the food. I literally, like, don't need the food. Like, if I'm gonna breed up the villagers, like, sure. But, like, I, I don't need the food. Hi, cow. And we'll try for you. There we go. Okay, we got two leathers. That's something. I'm gonna need a lot more, though, for this to work. Thank you. One. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I might need to get some horses. This is a bummer. What? You know what's interesting? Everyone is like, they'll kill cows for leather, and that isn't as bad. But people, I feel like, have, like, this thought that killing the horses is a lot worse, you know? It's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, got another cow. But yeah, I just kind of was, like, thinking of that. Where, like, I don't feel as bad killing a cow as I do killing a horse, but I think it has to do with the noises that they make because horses have like a really sad like 
squeal things. Ooh, that is a big spooky hole. Where's this bee friend coming from? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get anything that I need really, but I am going to punch you. Hiya! Wee! Oh! Wait, this is peaceful. Are you not gonna attack me at all? I guess I'm just like, this is my first time playing in peaceful mode, so I assumed that if I like hit them. Oh! I guess peaceful mode, the golems can't aggro on you ever. I don't like how you're going towards me though, it is a little scary. But I'll take it. <laughs> Free iron, just I'm just like following this poor golem and like taking it. Okay, I have five. Wonderful. Okay. Um, I think I left my crafting table down here. Let's go back to our crafting table. And then we're just gonna make sure we grabbed all the sugar cane around here. Get rid of that. Don't need you. Axe. Perfect. Okay. I did not want to lose my diamond tools. I'd be so sad. We will probably need to figure out a way to get mending and keep our tools, like, all clean and nice and mended up. But for now, we're just going to focus on getting them to be faster and more efficient. Um, but I think we can make five books, which is not getting us very far at all. Um, I think we are going to need to do some, some horsey killing, so I'm very sorry. You're, you're, I'm sorry. Okay, 17. Uh, yeah, I think it's the, like, sounds they make. 18. Oh, I thought you dropped more than that. My goodness. Okay, and then we need a lot more sugar cane for the paper for the book. So there's sugar cane down here. So we'll collect that. We also need to collect more iron because I want to make the lanterns. Um... I also need to get a lot more deep slate. We need spruce. So we'll probably head back towards our area and go to like the spruce side of things. But I think I am going to try to just grab some leather off these horses. So I, I apologize if the sounds are just not great. Um, maybe we'll do this, you know? We'll just... We'll turn the sounds off. Then it just sounds like, you know, it's not as bad. I literally think it's the sounds they make because turning off the sounds, it doesn't seem as bad. But it's like, it's still kind of sad. Like, we're kind of just getting them, you know, I feel I feel bad about it. But you know, when you don't have many options, you gotta take what you can get. But it is different not having the sounds. So I feel like that really is what usually bothers me is the sounds because like this isn't as bad Mo normally i like cringe hearing the sounds of like the horses when they get hit but this isn't as bad okay i'm sorry i'm sorry okay all right, um, definitely that was horse genocide. We'll leave those three alone and we'll turn up the music sounds again for the animals. We'll just leave it at 30. Okay. I apologize if you are a fan of the horsies, but I really, really, really need leather. <laughs> and I don't have many options for getting it in this world. Oh, wow. That was a ravine. Imagine if I just like lined it up perfectly and just like fell. <laughs> That would be very sad. But I do apologize if you are especially attached to the horsies. I really, really needed the extra leather. We also need some sand for the windows, so we're gonna collect that up. Oh, letting the water in. Didn't wanna do that. You know, if the villagers don't get scared because there's no mobs, I don't think we can even make an iron farm in peaceful mode. I was just kind of thinking of that. Very interesting observation. Oh. 
That sapling just like popped up out of the tree. That was funny. It's like, take me with you. That was silly, but also kind of fun. Also, I love how these mushrooms look in the mod pack. I added a mod that makes the mushrooms look a lot more like three-dimensional, and I think it's really cozy. I love it. Ooh. We do need iron. Oh, oh, okay. We're definitely coming in here right now because I do need iron, like I was just saying, for our lanterns. Also, what's really nice in peaceful mode is I can take fall damage, but because I don't have, like, hunger that I'm worrying about, I never actually have to be too concerned about taking fall damage. I just need to make sure I don't just, like, die. Like, if I fall too far and I die, like, that's the bad part, right? Ooh, there's a ton down here. But if I just, like, take a little bit of damage, like... My health bar just goes up on its own because we're in peaceful mode. So if you'd rather just explore and not deal with that, it is a great way to play. And you don't have to worry about all the like sounds of the angry mobs when you go into caves. Like I can just peacefully go caving and not have to worry about anything coming for me, which is actually like super nice because I feel like it just makes it more cozy because mining itself I think is really fun like you can just shut your brain off do some mining get some blocks like it's a good time so I think not having to worry about creepers being around a corner just makes that caving adventure just more enjoyable I just can't fall to my death that is the only contingency Cannot fall to the death. <laughs> okay, I saw more iron around here. Was it higher up? I thought there was more. Oh, it was higher up. Okay. But there's some right here as well. So we'll get this. Is that an emerald? The, the copper kind of like tricks me into thinking it's going to be like emeralds sometimes. But it ends up not being. Okay, 10 iron, not too shabby. Oh, wow, there's a lot down here. Oh, yay, okay. I was literally just like running low on iron, so this is perfect. So we'll do a bit of a caving here. Uh, we'll use leaves to pillar with. Let's just, boop, go down. Um, and then as far as where I need to go, this is my way up. So we're just going to get rid of that. So this should help me remember how, the way that I'm going. <gasps> Ooh, a mine shaft. Yay. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. I'm assuming then the cave spiders wouldn't uh, attack me either. So I can just like enjoy looking in a mine shaft and not having to worry about anything, which honestly sounds just like incredible. Um, it's also convenient that I have this blast furnace with me because I just found a bunch of coal and then we can just like smelt it all up and... I can make my tools along the way as we're like exploring this area, which is awesome. I literally think like being in peaceful mode is like great. Like if you just want to cave, oh, it's so lovely. Like I'm not, oh, diamonds, yes. I'm not too concerned about bad guys. Like it's just quiet. Like there's no zombies. There's no nothing. It's just ambience, dripstone dripping away. You know, it's just calming. I really like it. And then, you know, it'll just add some cozy music throughout it, and it's just so much better. This is, like, pretty high up. Hey, it's a stone one. Oh, these are rare. We're on six. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if we'll get, like, a few. Oh, these are stone diamonds. Okay, are these actually, like, more rare? They have to be, because we are on negative, like, seven. And I thought that with the new diamond level, like, this is actually pretty rare to find stone diamonds. Like, that's fun. I love that, but I'm, I'm taking them. I don't have fortune, but I'm taking the diamonds. Um, we'll get rid of the saplings. Okay, perfect. Saplings just trying to go into my inventory again. I also love how the ores glow. I'm using complementary shaders, but I like change some of the settings so that especially when we're in like caves, it's a lot brighter. It like auto corrects and brightens the caves as I like enter them, 
and I feel like it's just so helpful for like making videos for you guys so that it's not just like pitch black as like something's happening. So I really like these uh, changes to the shaders that I have on these. Um, let's go a little bit further down. We need lapis for sure. So we're also in deep slate level. So we're gonna just pick up all of this iron and then start collecting some deep slate. We are gonna need to go back home because we need to drop stuff off here as well. Okay, I'm always running out of space. <laughs> I wish in Minecraft you could have backpacks, like be something that would just, it would just be so much nicer. I know in like modded Minecraft, you can get some of that. I'll grab this as well. But having it in vanilla would be fun. But I feel like it also like forces you to be like very like selective, you know, like you need to think about your inventory and like be very careful with what you want to collect and when. And I feel like right now I want to go back home and drop off some of this stuff. And we're gonna come back here. Like I need deep slate and there's lots of ores down here. I also wanna go exploring at this little mine shaft on the other side, like that's so fun. But this cave is like chocked full of iron. Like I have 42 and there's just so much more to collect in here. I love it so much, but let's just get our way out. Yeah, there's so much. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Let's get up and out of here. And we'll jump. I think it's nighttime. And we're going to come up over here. Oh, I thought... Oh, yeah, see? Okay, if I, like, back up more, this cave gets really dark. But as I move towards it, self-corrects so that we can see easier in the cave which i think is a great feature to have um i think we can just jump here get a little bit closer to getting out okay and i want to put a torch down just so i remember Oh yeah, you can't put them on the leaves. Okay, fine. And I'm gonna take a screenshot of this just in case I wanna remember it. But if anyone's playing along in this seed, like even if you don't have the autumn texture pack, uh, that's where that location is. All right, so we had to go through the birch forest. I feel like I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> um, ooh. Yeah, big, big, big cave. <laughs> okay. This is like the one thing that like I do get a little bit paranoid is that I'm just going to get lost. I might use free cam to figure out where I am. Okay, so that's that thing. That was the village. So I think we just have to go through here. I think this is how we're going to get to our valley again. I'm pretty positive. Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. There's our little chimney of our little house. Wonderful. Okay. Did not need to be concerned. I I feel like in Minecraft worlds, I can do pretty good with, like, directions. I was just momentarily like, well, <laughs> guess we're uh, exploring today. <laughs> Trying to find our way home. Okay. What's also interesting is I don't see a lot of, like, fish in this river, which I don't know if that's just part of, like, peaceful mode generation. Like, there's not as many mobs. But it is interesting. Like, I haven't played on peaceful mode before this, so I'm just, like, learning little things about it along the way that I, like, never would have thought of. Um, let's go put this blast furnace in our house, and we're going to take a little nap. Oh, I left the door open. Classic. Okay, um, let's see. I want to put this somewhere. Um, let's put, let's move this for now. Put that there. And then we'll put the blast furnace. Oh yeah, that cooks up way quicker. 
we'll move our composter outside maybe because we'll have like seeds and stuff that we can collect so maybe we'll do that um here let's We'll probably just keep that actually because otherwise if I cover it it won't work for me but let's just put it over here you know still got some of the the autumn vibes okay now let's go to sleep take a little nap and then we're gonna grab a chest or two and start kind of moving our supplies over there ah, taking more sips of my uh, coffee Perfect, guess we've got a chest, awesome. Oh, and we'll put our diamonds away and the special things. So we have eight diamonds. Uh, two obsidian is not the best, but we've got lots and lots of our lapis, which is great. We'll just need to uh, find a lava pool, which I did remember seeing a lava pool back towards the village. So we will definitely need to go collect that with our pick, but I'm also going to just hide this poor dude. <laughs> Because he's about to break. Oh, I can't believe that. We're already almost through. A axe. When this is why I need enchants for my tools so that we can build things and not have them just, well, <laughs> fall apart so quickly. Okay, uh, this is where we're going to be building. So let's just set up the chest here. So go one, two, three, four, five. And we've got the sixth one. Um... We're gonna smelt this up. We'll leave the coarse dirt here because we'll use that for like decorating, like paths and stuff. We'll leave the rest of this. I need deep slate and spruce. Um, here, we'll take one of these as well. I'm gonna make a crafting table for this area. So we'll do that. We'll make a bunch of the paper. We'll just start making books. Um, actually, let's just like try to make bookshelves while we're at it. Make things a little bit easier. Bookshelves, three. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yep, we're, we're doing so well. <laughs> okay. Well, We've got a lot of leather, so we actually need more sugar cane. We're like doing all right on the leather. We can make five more books, which is great. Okay. Not too shabby. We'll just leave that there for now because we need more space. And then we'll put our sand in our blast furnace. We'll grab some more iron tools to go out and about. I need a lot more pickaxes because we're going to need a deep slate. But we'll need pickaxes and axes. Wow, this goes so quick. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my word. That's all, that's actually so surprising. I don't think I use blast furnaces enough. Like, that is that is good. That is very fast. Faster than I would imagine. Okay. We've got an extra little shovel. We'll make some extra axes to have those on hand. Oh, we're, we're set on pickaxes. I was just like making them willy-nilly. This is why I'm running out of resources because I'm just doing this. Okay, I feel like this is good. Um, we'll throw our sand in here. We'll grab some of that. Does sand go in here? I'm curious. No, okay, all right. That would be so helpful. Okay, and uh, let's put our leaves in here. Our wood goes in here. We don't have a lot of spruce. We are going to take these trap doors. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're pretty low on the deep slate. We want this type of deep slate and we want lots of this. Our roof is going to be kind of like a, a gradient of like cobble deep slate and then we'll do the deep slate bricks and then a different design of deep slate bricks that I can't remember what you call it, but it's like a little bit of a darker tone, which we'll, we'll see later on and I'll, you'll know what I mean then. But let's see, let's put our wool away. I don't really know where I'd put wool. Like, how would I categorize that? We'll just put that in here. All right, we're putting this away. I forget what kind of axolotl we got and I am kind of curious to know which little dude we found. 
Oh, we found a yellow one. Oh, we definitely have to make a little place for them. That's cute. Make a little Axwell sanctuary. All right. And now we go back. We're going to go and grab more of the iron. We need a lot more leather and sugar cane. We need to find obsidian. That is another priority. Okay. We'll throw the spruce planks in there. We'll throw all of that in there. We'll, we should probably make a few more of these barrels. Okay. <laughs> We've got so much. So much stuff. Okay. Next, we're going back to that cave area. And we're going to collect a bunch of deep slate. And I also will need clay. But I think I already have enough clay to make the bricks I need because we're going to use pots on the staircase kind of like winding up and I think it'll be good all right now we need sugar cane and lots of it I think I planted sugar cane somewhere but I cannot remember for the life of me where I planted it I thought I planted it like along here but maybe I didn't Either way, though, we need to collect a bunch of it. Lots of copper. It seems like copper is way more of a common resource than I would imagine it to be. But for people that love building out of copper, like, I'm sure they're happy about it. I just, I haven't really had... Oh, I needed that bucket. We need a bucket. Yep. Seeing that lava reminded me. We need a bucket so that we can make obsidian. Man, there's like these ravines down here. This is crazy. Alright, let's grab a bucket. Hmm. Dark oak forest, they're so cool. I'm very curious to know if you guys, like, what your favorite biome is of all of the Minecraft biomes. I think I really like the dark oak forests just because it's fun to see like mushrooms around. It's something a little bit different. That's probably one of my favorite like biomes that to, like I can build in. All right, we got our bucket. Did I put any sugar cane? Oh, I did. That's I'm glad I checked. Okay, so let's see how much paper we can make. More good. Okay. Um. Yes. Just checking in here. Okay, we have lots of clay balls, which is good. Can clay go in here? No. Man, there's not much that can go in here. Let's swap this out. I think this will be enough glass. I do want to turn it white. Because white stained glass is definitely my favorite. Okay. We're going to move these over there. I don't need all of these as, like, decorations in there, but we're just going to bring over some of the saplings to use inside the pots as little things to fill them with. Um, bring some of the azaleas as well. Um, bring some of you. Okay, and I feel like... Yeah, we'll bring the barrels over. Oh, I already have a bucket of water. Nice. Even better. Um, I feel like that should be good for now. We're not using that. Okay, let's bring over some of these supplies. And then we go back to the deep slate and collecting the iron. Let's see how many more bucks we can make now with all of this paper we just found. It's always funny when, like, you think you need way more supplies and then you're like, oh, like, it was in my inventory this whole time. Nice. I had way more than I thought I did. Nice. Okay. And we also need to make a second little chest to fit more items. There we go. Okay, now the rest can fit. There we go. Okay, two more. I'm going to leave this down here so that I can tell what we have left. Um, we can make more if we just have that. Okay, we've got seven. Uh, could be better, but we're also doing pretty good. We can make three more books. 
once we get paper. Okay. Okay. Let's go off adventuring now that we have our bucket. And we're looking for a deep slate. We'll come back once we get more deep slate and iron. And we're going to get... Okay, we've got... If I didn't have my diamond pick, <laughs> I'd have to go back here again. It would be very back and forth. And I would kind of feel bad. But, you know, we're also just hanging out, right? Like, oh... There's fish. As I say, like, things don't spawn in this river. They start spawning. I may go back and forth a lot, but we're just hanging out together, right? Like, you just get to hang out with me while I'm doing some Minecrafty things. We get to chat. You get to see what's around my area. You get to get stuff done in your area. You know, if you're working on Minecraft, if you've got work or homework, or you're just falling asleep to this, you know, that also works. I, uh, I wish there was a faster way to get back to that cave I was in. This is a, uh, lots of hopping. What would also be fun is I'm pretty sure this is a meadow. And if we got a music disc, yeah, this is called a meadow. We could, uh, listen to the music in the meadow. And then we'd get the advancement, which would be kind of cool. Okay. Um, I have to find, uh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, I have to find where that cave was. We might go boating around the outside of the land masses just to collect more sugar cane. Oh, you a little bee. Um, don't you know it's late? Normally you're already asleep, dude. You're in your little, your little hive. Are you lost? Minecraft bees are so cute. I think they're adorable. Okay. Now we come back down here. Oh, I didn't make a shears, but that's fine. I also did not bring any blocks to pillar with. <laughs> also fine. Okay. We come down here. See, like, this is so dark right now, but it's about to change as I enter. Ah, I love it. It's such a fun feature. Bip. Bop. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go see. Sometimes can't you find diamonds in here? I feel like that could be super nice. We could find some diamonds in the mine shaft. Maybe we'll find a name tag and we could like name one of our animals. I don't know. We've got options though. It is fun to find a mine shaft here. I'm very curious. I feel like the cave spiders aren't going to attack me, which i am very excited about because <laughs> i don't i don't like the cave spiders they are a bit scary to me okay iron perfect we're also collecting some pillaring blocks which is great okay sweet Ooh. okay nothing yet some iron All right, got that. Oh, dead end. Okay. Usually when I'm exploring mine shafts, it's so easy to get lost in them. So what I do is I'll like cover them up if I've already gone down an area and I've like found like it is a dead end. So that is how we're going to kind of uh, keep from getting lost in here. I also will always remove these blocks here just to make sure there's no creepers hanging out here. But we don't really have to worry about that in... Oh, there's a cave spider guy. Okay, this is the true test. <laughs> Am I going to get attacked by you guys? Or do you just not even, like, spawn? Do you just, like, stay there? Do you just stay hanging? I think they just don't spawn. Interesting. That's very strange. But, I mean, I'll take it. This is the closest I've ever gotten to cave spiders and not had them, like, come for my life. I'm about it, though. Peaceful is great. Oh, this is a cave. Oh, okay. Oh, it's more of the mineshaft. Okay. Oh, it's got iron. Oh, it is iron. Darn. Okay. Oh, we're over here. Okay. I'm hoping that we'll find a little, like, minecart. Hi, Bat. Hello. How's it going? 
I'd love to find a minecart. Um. Okay, lots of iron. Just oh, okay. I'm in the web. Cool. Yep, it's fine. Okay, grabbing it from underneath the little cobwebs. Okay. I'm really curious if we're gonna find uh, some goodies. That's what I'm very interested in finding. Okay, nothing yet. Almost through one of the pickaxes, slowly but surely. There's so much iron, I'm like so happy. Are we in like a mountain? No, it's, they're calling it dripstone caves, okay. I mean, that's, that's fair. <laughs> Okay, I al already came down this way, but we didn't check this out. Nothing in here, okay. Let's go down this way. Anything? Nope. Anything? Nope. Okay. So, uh, we'll close this up. Don't need to go that way. Um, did I go this way? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. Good to know try it this direction there's a cave spider oh wow look at all this iron oh my goodness oh this is the best cave i've seen so far i'm like actually like wildly surprised how much i'm almost to a stack maybe i'm getting a little distracted but you know when you find the ores you gotta you gotta mine them you gotta get the goods I was actually kind of concerned this world was going to have, like, I was going to have a hard time finding iron in this world. I, uh, I take that back. Okay. Don't need to go back here now. So we'll just close this off. Like so. And there's the cave spiders. I would really like if I could find some, ch oh, I was just going to say some chests. Speaking of, wonderful, wonderful. Um, little precarious. Depth Strider. Wow, I'm so happy. I will take melon seeds though. So that sounds kind of nice to have. Depth Strider 1. That's a little bit sad, not going to lie. Um, okay. Yep. That's great. Love. Oh, I don't love to see it. It's kind of a sad book. Oh, here's another cave spider. I feel like we're just gonna have so much iron that I won't need to just stay in here. Um, but I just want to grab it while we're here. Any more mine dirt? Any at all? That's really the only thing. <gasps> a geode! Ooh, I like that. Oh, hey! Ooh. Oh. Wait. Oh, it fell. Oh, that's cheeky! I got so excited! <laughs> I got so excited that there was another minecart, and it was the same one. That's so funny. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm starting to, like, pass by some of the iron just because I already have, like, a stack in nine, which is nuts. I will take coal, though. We we need torches. We need to cook up all of our iron. Okay. I've almost spent an hour just, like... Looking in villages, getting some oak, and mining. And so we definitely need to get on task again. But it's so hard to just leave the goods. I just need to know I can, like, come back here. That's the real thing. Like, Red, you can come back. It's not the end of the world. You can come back to the... Ooh. The little guy. Hello. You can come back to this cave and it's fine. Ooh, golden apple. I'll take that. I'm taking the beetroot seeds and the pumpkin seeds just because I can plant cool things in our area. I always put a torch down where I've already, like, looked inside a chest. Ooh, yes. Ooh, another. Okay. 
Uh, but this just helps me to know, like, where I've looked. Oh. I guess there was a glow squid somewhere. I'll take that. But I just... Putting torches by the little minecarts just helps me remember, like, where I've gone. Like, that's usually how I'll help me remember where I'm going. Okay, that is the end. Okay. I need to go now down to the deep slate levels. I will come back to this cave because this is a great little place to explore. Um, so we're just gonna come across here, come across here, and yeah, we'll probably just head out, go back down to deep slate level. I feel like that's the best thing to do. So we'll just go down here. There we go. It is pretty nice we've got some golden apples. Like, not like we need to use them because we never need to worry about, like, being low on health. But it's just kind of a fun thing to have. Okay. Now let's go down in this cave. Oh, ow. <laughs> I was wondering when I was going <laughs> to hurt myself. Okay. And let's get a little bit lower over here to where it's more deep slaty. And we'll just come down. Ooh, sorry. I'm like saying sorry to my Minecraft character. <laughs> okay. Grabbing lapis. Then we'll go. Oh my gosh, this is like two chunks of it. Sweet. Okay. We're gonna grab deep slate. Oh, here we go. All right. So we'll, oh, I didn't need the rail. Okay. We're moving all of these out of the way. And now we're going to grab a bunch of deep slate. What level are we on? We're on literally zero. Nice. We're at the old level of buy. Okay. Now, as far as deep slate goes, we'll probably get like three stacks of the cobble deep slate. So that's what we need to fill up in our inventory. We could also, honestly, just start making our way down to diamond level. Like, let's just make a little funky mine entrance in the middle of the, the little space here. We're going to go out like that. Because if I can just... Oh, don't use this pickaxe. If I can find some diamonds in the process, you know, then we're in, we're in good shape. gonna take a sip of my coffee while we're getting this done what would you guys say is like your favorite cozy drink like if you're just like if it's a rainy day I like to have a cozy drink or if it's like snowing I it snows where I live so if it's snowing I like a cozy drink but what is your guys's favorite cozy drink I'm curious you can comment below and let me know, but I think hot chocolate is probably one of my favorite cozy drinks, or like a good like tea. I feel like just warm drinks I find cozy. I'd probably say that's what I would describe is a cozy drink to me. It's like a warm drink where you can hold the little mug and it warms your hands, you know, get a fuzzy blanket. That's my idea of like a cozy time. All right, we're negative 10. We're, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Not very fast because deep slate, but we're filling up our three stacks that I wanted. Like, this is actually still a very productive use of time because we're getting closer to diamond level and we're getting the stacks that we needed of deep slate. Like, win-win to me. It's nice that we can just like collect all of the resources, enjoy some mining, all of the little ASMR noises, just have a good time.
I really need enchanted tools. This takes so long. Okay. I have one more pickaxe to go through. So after we get our deep slate, I think we're gonna try to go and find where that uh, lava pool was so that we can grab obsidian. So we're gonna go through these two pickaxes because we need obsidian uh, to be mined with the diamond one. Oh, there's the spooky cave sounds. So we'll go through these two pickaxes and then we'll go and find obsidian once we've run out of them. But we're just gonna go through both of them and see how far we can get. Um, if I have extra deep slate, like that's just gonna help me building for later on because that's kind of the like roof trim, like edging block that I'm using for this little world that I'm creating. It's kind of like the, the theme, like the build theme. So we're getting there. This just takes so long. Ooh, yeah, we've gotten 10 levels, woo! You know, once we do get to diamond level though, it will be nice. Okay, we almost have our three stacks, so that is like the bare minimum that we needed, which is great. Um, I might just run through one more pickaxe, honestly, because this is like going to take us a while, and I wanna make sure we have enough time to collect the other resources, get the other things for building all prepared. So we'll probably just go through this one pickaxe once it breaks. Okay. So I'm just gonna go like this, and we can kind of see how much else we end up getting collected. I'm fine if we're just like collecting extra resources because it's always gonna help us later down the road. Just feels like it took us way longer and we still didn't get that far because of Deep Slate, it's so funny. In modded Minecraft, there's this tool, I think it's called the hammer, but it will create like a three by three wide space and just like mine out all of the blocks for you in that space. And that would be so nice right about now. Just being able to go a little bit quicker. I know for like tunneling, oh, there's some redstone. Oop, and some iron, we'll collect this up for sure. Grab our redstone. But for tunneling through the deep slate levels, the hammer would be so helpful because, I mean, it would literally go so much quicker through all of this. Like, it would be amazing. And we could find diamonds so much quicker. It would, it would just be amazing. So I do kind of uh, think at some point I want to try, like, a, a series where I just, like, mod choose the mods that i want to add and kind of make like a like a reds modded world series and just like all the different mods that i thought would be like super fun like including the hammer one i want to make a world and make like a modded little little world for us i think that would be really fun and you know just having the certain quality of life things that other mod developers have like added into the game I think would be fun to play with there's also mods where it like changes how like the creepers look it gives you like a mushroom creeper if you're on like a mushroom island like things like that uh, I think it'd be super fun to have those like that and like same with the endermen like I've seen some mods that like update endermen so that they have like an enderman for the warped and the crimson biome and they all look a little different even in the end, they look different, and I just love that idea. It just adds, like, more, like, biome-specific mobs that are generally the same across the whole game, and that just sounded really nice. Okay, we're at 46, so we're actually, like, getting pretty close. This is great. I think 56 is usually the level we need to be at, and we've almost gone through the pick to get there. 
So I'd say that's pretty good. Um, we're almost at six stacks of deep slate, which is definitely more than I need. But being close to diamond level is wonderful. Especially once we get our tools better enchanted. Like, that's going to be amazing. Um, then my issue is just figuring out an easy way to get XP. <laughs> Because in Peaceful, I don't have as many, I don't have, like, bad mobs spawning, so I have to figure out different ways to get XP than I usually would, which does present a... Oh. You know, those noises are always scary, but at the same time, they're not as scary because I don't have, like, mobs that can, like, spook me while I'm doing this. Oh, we got to it. Okay, what are we at? 54, 55, 56. Okay, so this would be the diamond level we'd want to be on. So I'm just gonna, like, clear out a little space right here, a little box. And then we'll probably do a little, like, video here where we're just, like, mining for diamonds and just trying to collect as many as possible and so let's place a crafting table here we'll place a torch we're able to make furnaces out of this so we'll make two furnaces here we'll plop one there and we'll plop the other one here and then I'm actually going to move this torch up one because we need chests. So we're also going to do a chest like so. There we go. And then we'll leave some wood down here. Um, next thing we're going to do is just head out because we don't need anything else. I think I'll leave some of this down here just for later on. Um, but we've got our stacks that we needed. We'll leave some of this. But now it's time to go and grab some obsidian. I just like, I wish that I could just like do a little, little poke and it would just like appear, you know? I'm actually going to have my strip mines separated. Like this will be a strip mine and they'll be like every two. And then this will be a strip mine. Like, this won't be a thing. I meant to, like, not do that. Because every other is the best way to do the strip mining. So we're just going to have these set up as our strip mines. And same over here. Just make little, little poke holes in the walls. And then I can just come back down here and start mining wherever we end up. And hopefully we'll get some goodies. Because right now we can see 57, this is 56, 55, and 54. So this is pretty good. We'll be able to see a lot of diamonds if they're around. That's the other thing. It's like, are we going to actually find diamonds down here? We will see. But being on 56 is the level that I've heard is the best one for diamonds. Um, if you guys have heard otherwise... <gasps> <laughs> let me know, I was gonna say. Oh, three! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Four! Oh my word, oh my word! Okay. Now, the risk I might do for now is leaving these here and try to get fortune. Um, we are in 1.20, so even though like I don't need to wear armor, I can... Uh, put trims on the armor in this series and I think that could be fun just to have like some cute decorated armor but we've got at least four which is awesome right one two three four oh we have five <gasps> even better I love that for us yeah we're just gonna wait till we have fortune um but I will dig them out fully because I I get very paranoid that even though I don't hear lava, there's just going to be lava underneath them. <laughs> and it's just going to take my diamonds from me. But we have five here, which is great. Already very successful. I'm happy with that. And then this is the poke hole that we would continue using. Once we get past that. So just like that. 
Okay, so that means these are on 55, 56, and 57. This is, yeah, 57 and 56. So that's, that's good, but this is five, so definitely leaving that. And let's go, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bonk my head quite a bit here, aren't I? There we go. Yep, let's go get some obsidian. Super fun. I'm gonna take another sip of my little coffee. Yum. I should just make a staircase, like take stair blocks. That'll be another thing. We'll probably turn this into like a cozy little mine entrance, but for now, I'm just gonna place some torches so I remember where I need to go to get to said little cave that I made. Little mining entrance. It's kind of like a weird place to put a mine entrance is like in a random cave somewhere far, far away from where I'm actually needing to be. But you know, this cave seemed lucky to me, so we're going with it. And I'm gonna use these to pillar up with now that we have blocks, which is great. Another thing I'm curious to like try going to is the nether, because if like gas and things, Will they spawn? Will they just leave me alone? Like, I have no idea. And I feel like I will be able to just, like, go into bastions. Even, like, the piglin brutes won't be able to, like, get me. So I could easily get all the different, like, armor trim pieces. Like, we could go find an ancient city, and I feel like we'd be safe in there. Because, like, we're in peaceful mode, but we're still in, like, 1.20. So I can get the armor trims. We can get the... We can go explore an ancient city and, like, find the warden. Like, I'm actually, like, super excited about those opportunities, right? Like, that seems fun. We also, I'm, we're going to use the night time to look for a lava pool. Because that's probably the easiest time to find a lava pool is at night. And I'm not seeing any. Um, okay. Let's just get into this field. I feel like usually the fields end up having something. Maybe not. I could have sworn we had one somewhere. But maybe I literally had just seen the glow from the village. But we'll just go a little bit closer. We'll see what we find. Do a little bit of swimming. I like the swimming animations. It's kind of fun. And we're at the shoreline. All right, well, we have enough, like, evening, some nighttime to find the light. Oh my gosh, I thought that pig was a pink sheep for a second, and I was like, no way! I have a pink sheep that I found in my 1.20 world. <laughs> oh, there's one of the beehives. Oh, okay, lava pool. There we go, wonderful. It definitely is way easier to find a lava pool. Hopefully this is a lava pool. Oh no, it's a one. Ah, that's a bummer. Okay, we keep looking. I was getting very excited about that. Okay. Oh, I also wonder if I wanted to collect honeycomb for like candles, if the animals can't aggro on me because the, the iron golem never aggroed on me. I wonder if then I would be able to just, like, shear the hives and they won't get mad at me either, right? Like, that could be pretty nice. Okay. I'm gonna use free cam to see if I was just, like, completely missing something. Oh, I think I was. That looks more like a lava pool. I literally walked past it. I had a feeling. I was like, I'm pretty sure we had one nearby. I just... I walked right past it, it's fine. It was glowing, but not glowing enough also. I love these oxidaisy ones. I like, I also really like how in this, uh, the mods that I added, it kind of like dulls the look of the like plants a little bit. Like the stems of flowers is a bit more like of a more like subtle soft green it's not as like vibrant of a green and i think it looks really good in this like autumn world it's more of like a starting to slowly die type of green <laughs> okay perfect let's get our way down here i don't know how far this lava pool will go okay 
and look at the sun rise over the village. That's even cuter. Okay, let's just do this. See how big this is. And there's copper, nice. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And obsidian. I'm just probably going to collect up all of this, just since maybe we'll go to the nether, you know, to get some cozy blocks. I also feel like the nether won't be as scary, which I'm definitely about. I'm going to put this water back just in case some of these blocks have lava under them. This is always kind of like a safety precaution, because then your blocks won't get picked up by the lava, and you can actually get them yourself. I do feel like I'm kind of like by a bubbling hot tub though, like all the lava sounds. Feels like it's a little bit of a, a bubbly hot tub. Okay, maybe we just get enough to make the enchanting this table. So I'll just get like six. I feel like that should be good. Cause this is a, uh gonna oopsie that's why we grab the water bucket and place it under us yeah i'm just gonna grab like six because this is a uh, a process okay and we'll probably just leave this water bucket here for now um i've got torches so let's go like so i'm gonna just like make a little like reminder pillar there we go and then home is this way as well. So now we know. Okay, perfect. I don't need those. Now let's go home. And we need to get spruce next. That's the like next little block that we need to start collecting. And then spruce is pretty much the last thing that I need. Uh, most of the build is going to be made out of just oak. Because as you saw, like the whole exterior is going to be made of oak but the staircases and the floors on the inside and the ceiling that's going to be made with the spruce so i feel like we only need like two stacks of spruce like at the most um i don't oh there's a dog wait i don't even know how to get bones in this world i haven't seen any skeletons how do i tame you oh no oh no wait no leave the sheep alone leave the sheep well, I, I guess it's not fully peaceful mode. Uh, okay. Um, can I tame you with meat? Hey, hey, hey. No? Okay. Hey, I, I tried. Here, you can have that one too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I guess that feature still uh, works and that's not exactly what I would call peaceful mojang, but you know, I guess it's uh, a mechanic of the game. <laughs> Yeah, there's no uh no skeletons around. So I'm trying to think where I could even like find bones. I feel like my only option to find bones since there's no skeletons is going to be like an ancient city maybe. It will also be so much nicer once I get this uh tower in place because we'll be able to see our area from much further away cuz you can kind of see our area. But once we have the tower sticking up right here, it's going to look so much better and be way more obvious that, like, this is our area, right? Like, it'll be great. Boop. It is kind of nice in peaceful mode that I can kind of be a little reckless because it always cures my, my health. My hunger never goes down. It's kind of convenient. But we're going to go grab two stacks of spruce and start building. The one uh, sapling that doesn't really change colors with the mod pack is the spruce. But I do wish that it would just look a little bit different because that would be kind of fun. Okay, we have to get around the giant ravines. So I think I can get across like right in here. Yep, this is where that bunny always hangs out, but I haven't... Oh, yeah, literally, look, there's the bunny again. Just hanging out. Hi, dude. 
he just jumps right here all the time. Like, I don't know why he doesn't move when I'm here, but, like, he just stays. I think it's kind of cute, you know? Like, we have a little friend always, like, hopping around, but it is interesting at the same time. Okay, let's find a too tall tree. Let's get one of these ones. There we go. And now we get some wood chopping, ASMR going. We get our two stacks, so I'm gonna go like so. So we know when we've filled our two stacks. See, if the oak trees would grow like this, it would be so much easier to collect all that oak we collected up at the start of this. But you know, I do appreciate that we can have the spruce trees be this tall. It's also nice that we have this biome, this like, what is this, a taiga? old growth pine taiga so having this biome allows us to have lots of like coarse dirt around which is great for texturing so i'm like actually like very happy to have this biome directly next to our dark oak forest because i knew when i was starting this series that i wanted to have a dark oak forest be where we are because i just i just like having the mushrooms with the like autumn colors i think it's like so pretty so it was like a great coincidence to have access to unlimited coarse dirt, basically, like right next door. I was very excited about that. Big bonus. And I know you can craft it, but it's much easier if you can like save. <gasps> oh, it's raining. Nice. Now we can enjoy the rainfall. Ah. So calming and cozy. Like, look at our area. Just with the rain. Looking over everything. It's just so pretty. I love it. It's so cool. Okay, let's collect us some blocks. This one tree is almost giving us our... Uh, our two stacks that we wanted, which is great. And one tree is all done. Gotta collect our extras. Okay, perfect. Now, if we do another tree, I think we should be good. I want to get more saplings because I want to replant these just so I don't also deforest this area. But I think, yeah, we have backup axes. We should be good. So we're just going to uh, work on this. Now, I don't have enough books to have a full enchanting setup. I think we only had like seven bookshelves. But we're going to just start working on building up our enchanting tower, getting it all set in place. And then at the end, we'll kind of like, after it's all done and built, we'll kind of go out and look for the last bits that we need to, to finish the decorating, to get the actual enchanting station like in there. And then, uh, yeah. If anyone has like creative ideas for how to have a solid source of XP while being in peaceful mode, let me know because at least right now all I can think of is having just like I'm smelting up all of my ores. Um, I feel like that's one of like the main ways and like maybe if we do like stick trades with villagers. I feel like we will be able to do that and that could be our probably our best way to get XP in this world. But if anyone has like other ideas of how to have a solid source of XP so that I can use my enchanting setup, uh, feel free to put that in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions for like playing in peaceful mode as I'm like building up this area, let me know as well because I've never played in peaceful mode, so there's definitely things like I haven't considered. Like, I can't tame wolves uh, unless I find maybe an <laughs> the ancient city. Like, that's an interesting thought. I didn't think of that before. Okay, we've got all these saplings. Let's replant you. Let's replant a tree there. And let's plant a tree there. 
Okay. Let's go back home and we'll start building. I just don't want to fall down the pit. The bunny's still there? Yep. Bunny is still there. <laughs> so silly. I feel like if we find a name tag, we should name tag that bunny. Because he just always is like stuck in this one block. And I guess like if we're in peaceful mode, he's probably not afraid of me. So he's he's just like vibing. But I think it would be fun to name him because he's just like always in that one little spot. Like he doesn't move, which is kind of funny to me. Okay. All right. We've got the blocks that we need. Um, I kind of want to make the enchanting table like now. That seems kind of fun. But we'll drop off the wood that we have and we'll just put that in there we've got our oak we've got some of our spruce we've got our deep slate we've got a bunch of iron now we've got some coal and only seven bookshelves so that's the the pieces that we need to work on but i want to make our our little enchanting setup right now um i think i need a book though oh no okay well i guess we're not making it quite yet that's fine we'll just leave this here then uh, but I'm gonna put some of my stuff back to smelt. And then we're going to clear out our area. And then we'll start building. I love this area in the rain. Like, this is so cozy to me. So cozy. I love it so much. Alright. So, we're smelting up our iron again. We've got all of this. We'll put that in there as well. We'll put our clay back. Our pots. We've got lots more lapis, which is wonderful. We've got two golden apples. And we've got lots of coal, which is good to know. Oh, I had more leather in here. Nice. Okay. And then we'll put our bucket back. We'll put these guys in here. These are seeds, so we'll put those back. We've got our wool, so we're just hiding that in here. We've got our dirt. And we don't need a lot of extra deep slates, so I think we're good. And I don't need my diamond pick, so I'm going to just leave that in here for now. We'll save those until we can get enchants on them. But I think we're pretty much good, so let's start working on building up our little area. Our little enchanting tower. I might need to get a new shovel, but for now we'll be good. Add that in there. Okay, so let's grab a bunch of our oak, because that's what we're going to build with first. Go like so, and... Let's see, so if I want to have the tower be right in here, I need to remove this tree and clear out the space right here. So this layer, the next one, so these layers need to get removed. So that's what we're gonna start with. Oh, there goes the shovel, but we have a backup already, which is great. Now, I'm kind of okay if we're, like, kind of shoving our little tower into the corner here. Because then it'll kind of look like it's been a little bit built into our mountainside. Uh, I did plan to have, like, windows on the sides of the tower. And some of them are just going to stare into dirt, which should be kind of funny. But at the same time, you know, it's fine. We'll have a cozy little spot. And it'll be great. Just totally fine. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this group of blocks as well. Okay. Uh, needed to get rid of this tree next. So we're gonna get rid of this dude. These like red particles are coming off whenever I chop a block that's by these leaves, if you've noticed that. It's 
kind of interesting. Did I miss any in this tree thing here? This will probably stay here just because it's connected to that other tree, so we might have to go get our shears. Which is probably good to have over here anyways, because I'll need to clear out some tree space. But let's grab all of the blocks here. Okay, let's pre-cam and see what this looks like. It's a bit better. I do need to get rid of this. I also think this tree needs to go as well. And then we're going to go get our shears to carve out the leaves that shouldn't be there anymore. Since technically they should have despawned, but they didn't. That's the one thing that is a little bit like annoying at times. If trees are too close together, that all of the leaves kind of like become leaves on the other tree basically where they just won't despawn at all it is uh i wish they would still do spawn based off of just like i don't know the ai knowing like which tree the leaves were from because otherwise you have like no it's it's working a little bit but you just have like a bunch of leaves that just stick out from like a different trees section but what do you do right what do you do okay grab our shears since we have so much iron now and then we'll be able to start building i feel like making this tower is gonna go like relatively quick just because of how simple the build is in a way of like just towering up with it all i'm gonna make two sets of shears there we go perfect and we'll have one be there. I'm also going to bring um, an extra... We'll do an extra pickaxe and a shovel. I think that should be good. Um, extra pickaxe right there. Extra axe. There we go. And we'll put these back. Oh, I guess I had more than I thought I did. Okay, so we've got extras. This should be good. Now, let's start building up the base shape. Having it rain in Minecraft is, like, super relaxing. And I feel like this area... Ooh, this is overgrown. Hello. I did add the Shearable Vines mod. It's literally such a lifesaver. Because nothing can get too crazy overgrown with it. Which I personally love so much. Because then you can still have all the texture. Oh. I guess it's done raining. But it's not going to like be overwhelming. You know? So I can sh- Oopsies. I just got rid of those ones. My bad. Okay. Now, let's go build this up once we get these out of the way. All right, so where are you? Okay, that's better. Just need to get rid of some of these leaves. Let's see how this looks at free cam. Oh yeah, that's what we needed. That's perfect. Wonderful, yes, okay. Now we're ready. And I'm probably going to just like fill this in a little bit more. We'll make like a staircase to get up here so it won't feel like it's as like high up here and we'll even out the dirt and do some like terraforming. But I do like the height of this just being a little bit like it's higher up because it is a tower, you know? It's kind of what I'm thinking. So we're going to deal with the stairs and terraforming later. I just need to expand the base of this out more first. Okay. Feeling good about that. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Amazing. So exciting. I do love just, like, being able to just, like, build in the world like I feel like playing in Minecraft is kind of like you have a paintbrush right like blank canvas you can do anything you want so we're gonna replace this with dirt quickly 
and it's just like unlimited options like you can build whatever you want and i think that's really cool about the game i think that like inspires me to want to play in it more and just get to see the before and afters of things like i love the before and afters in in the game like once you've built something, what it looked like before, like, so fun. So if I were to take a screenshot before, like that, now we're going to build up our little tower. So if we do one, two, three, and then it's like this wide. So this is like an easy way to make a circle. Ooh, not right there. So to make a circle, you can just like make a basic shape like this. If you want it to be larger, you can just make this be five. And then you would put like two of these single ones next to each other. But this is going to be the shape of our tower. And so now we're just going to build up 17. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, tall tower. It's a very tall tower. I just mean to count. One, one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. So this is how far up our tower is going to go. And I think this is a really good height because then from here we're going to have the roof and it should look really nice. But, uh, I didn't think about the uh, the jumping down part. That's, that's not as good. Maybe I should grab a water bucket. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's put a water bucket inside here. Um, I wonder if I had one in here. Yeah, I didn't think I did. Okay, we're grabbing a water bucket. We'll make this a little pool. And then when we jump, we'll be safe. We're big braining it today. We're figuring it out. Because even though like I'm pretty sure if I take enough fall damage, I will die. Uh, I also think that I want to try to avoid that because I don't want to lose my precious levels when it does... Oh, I have a well. What am I doing? I made a well last time because I needed access to water easier. There. There we go. I also love having this little well here because like, I can get my water whenever. Like Things like this. Like This is so like helpful to have in our area but it's also very cute and like it's practical i can get unlimited water from this well and it's i just love it like things like that are so fun to me because like a well could be something that doesn't really like have like a true practical purpose if you just like make the build of it but if you actually like go and grab perfect if you go and grab the uh like w infinite water sources you can turn it into unlimited water in the well, which is exactly what it is and should be. And it just fits. It's it's great. And now we just go ploosh. Go up to our next one. Oh yeah, this is so much easier. See, this is like the bulk of what takes the time on this little design. Mew. So once we get this up, we're already like a good portion of the way done with this, which is great. But it did require a lot of oak. I also really like the sounds of like placing and stripping the wood and taking the bark off. Like I think it just sounds so cool. Minecraft did a really good job with all of like the sound effects of the game. I think it's like so, so good. Like even me jumping into the water, there's a splash and then you keep hearing like a ripple, right? Listen. See? It sounds like a ripple, you hear the water moving, like it just sounds so cool. I love it. It's great. And I wanna see how much wood I have left as I'm doing this. Um, my ax is close to breaking, but that's fine. Bloop. 
And I think on this side over here is where we're gonna make the little entrance. Oop, there goes one X. I think over here is probably gonna be where the entrance goes, or we might make it be over here. I feel like I kind of want to have like a path coming up along here, and we'll kind of use that as a way to make the stairs a little bit more like elongated since we kind of just like created a pretty just like I don't know, like two block tall area that we'll have to like figure out how to make a staircase to. But I think if we make the stairs come around here, we can use some slabs for them and some stairs. Like it'll work really nicely. There we go. And boop. Putting water in the middle was literally the best decision I made. <laughs> Like, this is way easier. Oh my goodness. And we just keep going. I love it. And once we get all of these sides put in, I want to look in free cam to see the shape, the size, just to make sure I like how big it's going to be, like how tall it is, before we like start decorating and like fully commit. Cause I feel like once you start decorating the build, you're pretty much committing to the build, at least in my mind. Cause like I could easily, if I have to like take down some of these pillars, you know, but if we have, um, I think I, is this the way out I want? Was this the way? Yeah, this is the way I wanted out. Okay. So we're gonna come back in here. Oh no, you're taking away my stuff. Hang on, go back in. Ooh, come on, come on. Okay, this is the way I wanna go out. So when I get all the way up, I'm gonna jump back in here. And that's just what I wanted to make sure I like knew which way I wanted to start making the entrance. And I was pretty spot on with how much wood we would need. Like, look at this. We're down to our last stack of the oak that I acquired. So that's pretty good. Okay, so let's uh, go look in a free cam. All the way up. Okay, and out. Obviously, the trust the process. This looks pretty bad right now, but I think it will look really nice when we're all done with it. I'm gonna have some deep slate on these sides and some oak fences on the sides to just kind of round it out more. But I think I like this. I do also like having the door here because, yeah, this is definitely where the door is going to go. But I think it's just going to be so much easier to find our area. Like, that is obviously somebody built stuff here. So I, I like that a lot. So we're just going to get to work on that. And one of the next things I'm going to do uh, for now, we're going to take the, out the water. But what I want to do is I need to make a bunch of barrels. I'm just going to like, oops. Yep, okay. Yep, that'll happen. We're going to take that out of our inventory. Because I just want us to know like this is going to be our path. Like not exactly. But... Oh no, all of our flowers and mushrooms. Oh no. <laughs> all of the vibes. We got to put back the vibes. Put back all the vibes. And these are over here. And we'll just put one back here. And I had torches with the moss carpets. So we're gonna put that back. Um, did I have more torches? Or was that just the only one I had? If it is the only one I had, like, that's fine, okay. I think I had everything. Cool, okay. So this is just our path all the way out. So this will just help me to know this is where our path is coming from for when we make our staircase look a little bit nicer. But yeah, I like this. I think this will be really nice. So we'll walk up here. We'll walk up around the corner. We'll curve this out a little bit better. But the next thing I want to make is we're going to have a pillar of barrels going all the way up 14. I think or 13 I wanted so this is where we're gonna just pillar up and have a bunch of barrels I will again place the water bucket because we're gonna be pillaring up but I need a lot of blocks for this so we're just going to go like so 
make a bunch of barrels. Oh, 32. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. And we'll put that there. We'll put the water there. Okay, it's perfectly covering it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll put the enchanting table on top of here. And then this is going to be kind of like our area where we, uh, we have. So if this is 13, right? So this, this is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah. Cool. Cause this will, will have like a roof block placed over the top of this. So this will look a little bit smaller later on, but I think this looks good. Now we hop down and this is going to be the pillar base. I need to find my source block where we're now going to take the spruce and we're going to pillar up with stairs and slabs of spruce all the way up to the top. And that's going to be how we get our little uh, nice spiral staircase effect. So we're going to move all of these things out of the way. And we want just our spruce now. So we'll just convert you all into stairs. I think 40 should be good, but next we want a bunch of the slabs too. So we've got that. Okay. And I think this should be good. So let's have our stairs in one of our hands. And we're going to put some torches out here and down here just so we can kind of have a little bit more light. Okay. So when we walk in, the first stair is going to be here. The second stair is going to be here, and the slab is going to go here. I'm also going to have slabs be right here, so it kind of looks like it's not. we're not going to like fall off the edge, because I feel like I've made towers before where I would just start like pillaring up, and I would end up like falling off the side here like this, and I don't want that to be the case. So we're kind of just going to... Uh, slowly use these blocks with the stairs. We're going to have our winding staircase, but then we'll just fill in the side walls around it. There we go. I feel like this is a much easier way to do it. So then like, for example, this would be right here. We would bring this level up, this would be up. So you kind of get the idea of like, I'm not going to be able to fall off of this because we're just kind of like following the the blocks and making kind of like floor levels along the way just so I don't fall. Like this is what I was excited for when I was like in creative mode. I'm like, yeah, like this makes so much sense. Like I'm not going to fall. This is wonderful. So I was excited for that. Um, we're also using spruce for the floor. So let's just clean this up in here too. And I'm probably gonna cover a lot of this up so that you won't see those blocks in the back that are spruce, but this should work for now. And then like that, perfect. Yeah, I'll probably just go like this. Um, there we go. And then we can like place some chests down here and we'll just have kind of this be like a crafting area. I also love the idea of using all these barrels because this pillar looks cool, but it's storage all the way up. And I can place signs on these barrels so that I remember like what's what. Like I was super happy with this because this looks so cool as a center pillar for a tower. So I, I was very excited about that little uh, idea because I mean I haven't used it before I'm sure lots of people have but I haven't so I thought it was a very fun little thing to add in and of course we're starting to run low on torches and the lights going away but luckily no mobs are going to spawn it's also nice like no mob spawning means that I can build when it's dark and not ever have to worry like it is perfectly safe <laughs> Okay, and I can't remember what I was thinking of doing here. I think this starts to open up to where we would just have the floor itself, if I remember right. I think I did like one more block up like that. And then we started with the floor. Maybe. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we're thinking because the enchanting table is going to be right here. So I think I want this to be the top of the floor. So we'll go like so. And this is the stairs. So we'll go like this. I think this will be good. And then this is the bottom of the floor. It perfectly works. It's not like a half slab. So this works great. And I think I need to stop. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Okay, so I can have this be here. Oh, nope, can't have that either. Okay, there we go. See, it's good to test these things. Now, put that there and that there. Ooh, it kind of glows. But there, now I can just run all the way up the staircase. I'm going to probably remove these just because it is kind of uh, making me bump my head, which isn't what we want. Okay, yeah, this has to go. Okay. But then we'll have, we'll put our enchanting table right here. We can put our lapis in the barrel and then we'll have our books be right here and here. Uh, I think I need this to be like that, but this will this will be our little tower. And then the ceiling, we're gonna just cover this in like so. And then we'll put a spore blossom up here, of course, cause we need all of the particles. There we go. Perfect, yeah. And then it's just a lot cozier. So now let's go get our stuff. And I don't need to keep the water bucket on hand because we officially have, um, yeah, a nice little staircase. So that's what we needed lots of our spruce for. The next thing that we're going to be working on is just I need to make a ton of these trap doors because what I want to do is kind of have like shutters on the sides and I want to have windows on the different levels, right? So like right here, we would have a window, right? And then right here, we would have a window. So we're gonna move that little light, put that there. So then when we're like looking out, there's like two blocks in between. And these aren't gonna be like exact, right? Cause you can kind of see all of these windows are gonna slowly spiral up, which is kind of fun but we're just going to do that. So these two would also be gone. They're not always gonna have the best views, but it's nice to be able to have views. So I'm still gonna like take all of these blocks out so we can have some windows. So we're going to use a lot of actually these, uh, these oak blocks to help us make the little shutters. We're also gonna make some slabs of spruce to kind of create little awnings uh, around the outside, kind of like a little like roof windowsill. And I have to put the books on these sides. So this is not going to have any of the windows. So these are going to be the last few window slots. And we'll also put like a little lantern above these. So it's lots of light in here, but I think it'll be really nice. So I'm just going to add one in here and put one there and then grab the blocks that fell outside. Perfect. So then like you'll, you get the idea, like shutters along all of them. I need more spruce planks. So we're gonna make more of them and I'll show you what we're doing with these. We're gonna create just like awnings like so, like very, very simple. And then we're gonna put up here on top of this one, a little lantern. So that's what we're gonna be getting a lot of this spruce uh, little, we're using lots of the spruce for our little awnings on top of little mini roofs and lots and lots of trapdoors. So we're going to go like so. <laughs> the other thing about like building in creative is like, I'm like, yeah, we'll use these on all, everything. We'll have so many trapdoors. And then I'm like, yeah, it's actually a lot more than you realize, Fred. Uh, <laughs> lots of extra building. So it's just kind of funny when you're like, ooh, yeah, this will be so cute and creative and like so cute in our world. And then you realize uh, you have to collect the resources to go make that. Super fun. Okay. But this isn't too bad. And it's kind of fun to just get to like have you guys along for the adventure and be chatting. Okay. Let's go like so like so, and then it'll look so pretty once we have all of the the lanterns placed. Like I'm, that's the part I'm also excited for. We actually might need to go get more 
oak. Um, we have this left for oak and I'm going to be making the fences. So I'll have oak fences. So here's like what the idea is for this. We're gonna have oak running all the way up the sides like so on all four sides and like that on the sides. These ones are going to be our deep slate which I think will look cool. So in free cam, this is what we got so far. It already looks better with just our little awnings. So, you know, gotta, gotta trust the process. But it already is looking much, much better, which I'm happy about. And then put our little guys right there, right there. There we go. Just like that. And there we go. One, two, and three. Is that the last one we have? Yeah, okay. I was like, I think I'm close to the top. Couldn't be sure. But also, I was pretty sure. Yeah, okay. For some reason, I thought one of the trapdoors wasn't, like, looking proper. So I was like, um, what's going on? Okay, awning like so, and then we'll be able to fit. I think we'll have just enough of everything, honestly. Like, that's exciting. I'm very happy about that. Okay, and then we've got our little awning. There we go. There we go. And like so. There we go. I think that's the last one, right? Yes, okay. Now we go back down. Also, I need to get an ax after this one. But this is the most, this is the most amount of like wood chopping we'll do is just getting this in place. So we might be okay. We'll see. Um, pretty soon here, we're gonna be working. Ooh, will I have enough? Three, I need a little bit more. Okay, I'm glad I saw that. We should be good. And then four. I have two more doors. Um, yeah, I'll have enough, perfect, okay. Putting those back in, and then we go pillaring up again. And then we add our little trap doors. I'm gonna move this over again. And our awnings. More on little trap door windows. There we go, that's the last one, perfect. And we got them all, amazing. And then I need to find a bunch of white dye, which I've usually just used bone meal for that because let's go into free cam. We're gonna fill these with white glass. So if you notice, you can kind of tell if you pay attention that you can see where the staircase is like rotating a little bit, which I think is really cool. This looks so much better already. And once we get the deep slate and the oak on the side, it's gonna look way better. But we first need to get a lot more sticks together for this. So we're gonna go like so, bunch of sticks. We're gonna convert a bunch of these and then get a bunch of oak fences. And I think, um, I'm trying to think how I can do this. Let's just go like so. Can I like jump above this? Okay, let's place one down. Can go like this. Okay, this is probably gonna be my easiest way. Okay, perfect. And then I'm curious how this will go. A little spooky. But he's fine. Um, let's just jump Ugh, down. And then go like so. Yeah, this is <laughs> working. It's doing something for us. It's helping a little bit. 
I was gonna try like water bucket clutch, but I really don't want to risk losing all of my levels. I'm a little bit scared of that specifically. Okay. Um. Wow, I really they defensives don't like you going like over them. It's interesting. Okay. And then again, we'll go like so. Um, this awning is actually kind of helpful because it's lower. So how far can we go? Oh, that's actually like really close. That's great. Ah, look at that. No fall damage. Well, no major fall damage. Okay, sweet. Much better. Much, much better. Okay, now we get deep slate, but I need to have my stone cutter over here. But let's take a look at what the fences add. See, it's not even that much, but it just adds a little something. I'm a big fan. Okay, let's grab our stone cutter quickly, and I'm gonna make another axe. I still have backups of these guys, but the axe is what I went through the quickest because I was taking the bark off all of the wood. But I'm liking how it's looking so far. Um, oh, I put it outside, that's right. Hi, stone cutter, come here. Thank you, did I put anything in there? Okay. Now we make another axe. Did I have any more iron in here? Yes, I did. Nice, okay. And more sticks. Let's see, there we go. And a back of axe, wonderful. Okay. And I think the stone cutter was the only thing I needed, so let's go back. Take another sip of our little coffee drink. There we go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now we take some cobble and we make some. I think this was the, the tile wall was the other variant. So what we're going to do for our roof palette is our roof is going to be made out of the cobbled deep slate. We're going to do deep slate tiles and the brick. So we're going to have kind of like a gradient roof where it's going to start like a darker tile, move into the bricks, and the top of it is going to be just regular cobbled deep slate. So that's kind of like the roof variant that we're doing. But we're going to make a bunch of these wall ones. So the tile walls, we'll just do two like that. We might need like two stacks of this, so let's just convert this now. And we're going to add those in right here. So we're gonna go like so. I like how these sound. They just sound cool. Perfect. Okay, and we're gonna just jump down here. Ooh, no fall damage at all, amazing. Okay. And then what else? Here's some, a hillside. This will get us close to it too. There we go, perfect. <clears throat> okay, we put that there and we just jump up here. Here, let's use up this stack first. Perfect, okay. And I'm gonna jump off this way again, just cause it wasn't giving me like fall damage. Uh, then we need to get to the front side, but I'm just going to uh, do the same like block type thing right here. Okay, oh, 17, perfect. We'll completely use up the stack. It looks like I like barely needed a new stack. Like I used four blocks from it. So that works, okay. Pretty. Okay, let's take a look in free cam now. See, it's got a little bit more shape to it. And then we're going to add in our lanterns. It's going to look so good. Ah, I love it. And we'll add leaves on top of the roof. So next we're going to work on the roof, which 
I really don't like building roofs. Like, I'm not that great at them. Uh, but, you know, I always want to learn to get better. So we, we try. We try the things. We try to improve. But I'm just going to remove all of the extra blocks out of my inventory that I won't need. So we're going to put all of the wood away. I don't need any of that. Uh, oh, I, I brought iron over here. That works too. Okay. So I want these with me. Grabbing these. So we're going to have a bunch of these cobbled bricks, the stairs, and the slabs. We'll just leave the walls. We don't really need the walls yet. And then we're going to have our edges with some of these. Don't need a lot. And I only need my pickaxes. But the edges are mostly going to be out of these tiles. So that's what we're going to need the most of. But then we also need the stairs to make like the next layer up. And then we might need more of these because this is our edge of our starting roof. We'll get some of the deep slate guys. Those should be good. We'll get some regular ones. And then we'll get some stairs. And we've got the regular ones. I'm going to bring this with me just because I need to make sure that I have things to craft with while I'm up there. So uh, now we need to make our way up which we're just going to climb on treetops until we make it to the roof. And then we need to make sure oh, there's our lush little cave. And there we go. It is nice that we're like against this corner because we just figure out the tallest tree and uh, we just get on top that way. <laughs> oh, oh, that scared me. I thought that was like an open block to get hurt on. Okay. So this is going to out like so. And this is going to be kind of like how we build. And then it goes like so. Like so. It goes two out again. So this is kind of going to be like this. This won't be there. And this won't be there. That won't be there. And we're kind of just making a larger scale kind of base shape like what we had to start our tower shape. We're just trying to make like a wider circle. And we go like so. So now this doesn't need to be here. That doesn't need to be here. And this doesn't need to be there. So you can kind of tell we're starting to make a larger circle. And this is what I was talking about where this would be five and you would just add two on the side. So if you want to make a slightly larger circle, you just make this side be five and then have two of those little singles there as well. And that's how you can do it. And I'm glad I brought the, uh, I'm glad I brought the little stone cutter because I'm already running out of those blocks that I thought I would have enough of. So I'm going to grab more of those. So that should be good good and now we just go around so we have one two three four five and then like so go one and two out like so and we grab our pickaxe again and these are the ones we don't need and then we've got already one two three Four and five then we make our angled ones there's the first one and the second one and there we go we've got the shape that we need for our roof and now we just get to start working on making it so this is gonna go right here and we're just going to have two layers like so so I will need a lot more of these and we do need to slowly like gradient this in from this dark color to the bricks to just the cobbled deep slate. So I do need to keep that in mind. But then we'll just keep working on this. We'll get some more blocks. There we go. 
make more of these guys. And then we're gonna start kind of creating a second layer with these different blocks, these taller blocks. So let's see here. Now, I want this to be up one. So if we go like that, um, we're gonna go like so, then that can be there. Um, we'll go like so, like so, kind of just like create a second level of all of these blocks. That should work pretty good. And we'll just back up a little bit. There we go. Do all of the, the roof things. Oh, I guess I'm going to lose some of these because I'm not risking falling just to pick up some blocks. Sorry, no sorry. There we go. And now we can go around this whole edge here. Holding shift because I don't want to fall. And then one goes there and there. Perfect. Okay. So the second layer is looking good. Now, some of these are going to be stairs. So we are going to kind of like switch some of these out. I was just trying to like figure out like the basic shapes. So if we go like so, I just want to like see how the different blocks look. And I also want to like make sure we're moving this. Um, I might actually make these, ooh, almost fell, that's great. Full blocks in the corners. I think that could look good. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that out. So we'll see how this goes. Grab you. And you're a full block. Then you would be stairs. Or actually, I think you would be a stair. And then we need to start transitioning some of the blocks as well. So we're going to be mindful of that. So like so. And then we need one there. Okay, that's already there. So this is going to be another block we'll transition in the corners. Then right here, what do we need? We need also some of the stairs. So like so. And we don't want those. So this will be a full block, like so. Yeah, I think I'm trying to like make this go up a little bit taller, a little bit quicker. So we'll put a stair here maybe. See how that looks. And then we'll get more of those in place. Use a stair here as well. Then this will be the full block. Like so. This will also be the full block. Like right here, like so. Then if we step back a little bit, it's slowly starting to transition. Then the top will be just like regular, like just deep slate. And I think that'll look good. But I'm liking this so far. I think this side I might change a little bit on the edges, but we'll kind of just finish the roof shape itself and then uh, figure out any changes we want to make. I do go through these uh, tiles pretty quick. So we're going to add more to my offhand. Oh, and the sun's slowly coming up. Love it. Okay, so we've got this right here. Go like so. We'll add in some of these to sprinkle in. These are those full blocks. So you go there. And you go there too. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now you are going to be a brick. It's always a little bit scary when like I fall a little bit because I'm like, oh no, I'm going to fall to my death. Okay, yep, all of those extras. And you go there. Okay. You don't need to be here. Clean this up. Perfect. 
Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, these corner ones need to have two of these. Because this is how we're kind of growing this. Actually, this is what you would be. You would be right there. All right, so we've got our next layer. So now we need to do more of these guys. So it's going to be more of these ones, but we're also going to use some of these previous ones. And same here, mostly these guys, but a few sprinkled in of the old style. And oh, wow, yeah, you're you're real behind. So if I go like so. Um Wait, how are you so much higher up? Huh. Guess I really uh got a lot farther on these walls than I did the other ones, it looks like. Okay. So we want these guys. We'll throw in one of you. Oops, not upside down. There we go. And go like so. So it's slowly going up. Okay, kind of like a gradient. Okay, I'm liking this. Slowly but surely. Yep, yep. Okay, so now this goes here. And we're at the top now. So there's this one. And we need to make more of these guys. And we'll add more of you. And you. Okay, and now we need more of these ones. Just a few more. We've got lots of these ones, but we'll need more. Um, we'll throw in a few of these. We shouldn't need a whole lot. We'll just add more of these to our inventory as well as the stairs in case we need that. I will need to grab this before I <laughs> fully... Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to grab it now. I'm just going to say I'm just going to... I'm going to run out of space and it won't be good. Okay. Now we've got that. So this is great. Okay. So now this is where we start doing the other ones. Start sprinkling those in. Uh, we'll put a block here. Same on this side. So we're kind of transitioning the blocks again. Um, I might just start putting some of these in. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so if we're looking at this... Okay, it's starting to transition, but I do need some of these to be mixed in now, starting here. And then we'll put one of these other ones in the corner, but it's mostly going to be the regular cobbled ones. Okay, and then they're starting to get sprinkled in. I'm liking that. Let's put one of these in here. Like so. So that starts to get sprinkled. On this side, it's doing the same thing, which is good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, and then it's just small here. So we're basically at the top. And I do have some walls, but I don't have the regular just like cobble ones. So we gotta make some of those. Okay. And we'll take this again. Perfect. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll put one here. Because we want it to blend. I don't want it to be like just like all of those are like the same top block. Um, so I think that should be better. Yeah, just like some hints. Like this is a little too much. So I might make this one be a, a brick a bricky one like so and then 
we need this. And let's see, do we like that? I feel like I don't want it to be like a super tall roof. I just want it to be like a little something. Um, I am going to change some of these edge blocks to be like a full block. So that's one thing we're gonna like swap out is getting more of these as full blocks. So I need this again. So we're gonna add more. So we've got these guys. Should be good now. Okay. I have another axe, right? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, do I have another pickaxe? Cause I'm running out of space. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be a full block. This, also a full block. This edge, also a full block. And then we'll come over here. Okay. Sounds did this weird thing. Okay, we can hear it again. Sometimes my Minecraft sounds just like turn off and I have to do F3 and T to like refresh things. Cause sometimes it just like doesn't work well and it's very strange. Okay, actually I want this to still be a, a little, little, a little slanty one. Um, this one. Because this edge is going to be a full block. This one will be a full block. That's going to be a full block. And go around these two. That'll be a full. Just every other. We're just doing every other. That's full. There we go. And down here again. Okay. Almost done, which feels good. Okay. I think this will just like help it look a little bit better. So let's free cam it. Yeah, see that added a lot. I already love that so much more. Yeah, much bigger fan of that. Um, I think I also will bring these sides down, honestly. I'm curious to see how that'll look but I think I'm gonna like that more. So if I go like so, and then we free cam that. Free cam is just so helpful. Mm, maybe I don't like it. Cause you can't really tell as easily on these corners that we had like the blocks looking different. So I think I actually don't like it. So let's just take this and put those ones back and then we'll call it good. Then we have to get off the roof. <laughs> the the truly fun part. Okay. So if I go into free cam, yeah. I think I like this a little bit better. Yeah, we'll call it good. I like it. And this is what we have. And we just need to add the lanterns and some leaves to the top of it, some little vines coming down the sides. And this will be good, but for now we're gonna just get off of the roof and start working on getting some lanterns and some other things for it. We're also gonna get some bone meal for the glass. And we're gonna try to collect as much of the fallen blocks as we possibly can. Don't know how likely this is gonna like work to collect them all, but it should get some of them. Okay, we're getting some, this is, this is good. It's more than I honestly thought we would get, so I'll take that. Okay. Any other spots? Okay, on that tree. Alley-oop. Okay. Sweet. All right, let's get some white glass and some lanterns now. And I can take this axe and collect that up. And I don't need to keep showing you our color gradient because we're done with the roof. Okay, we're doing good. We're making good progress. We're getting a lot done. Now it's really just uh, some of the exterior, but mostly the interior, mostly trying to get uh, enough bookshelves collected up and that's going to be a process. But we're gonna add in the spore blossom. We're gonna take our glass. I'm gonna take all of these leaves and we're gonna probably just go into the field and start collecting up a bunch of leaves so that I can just have a much easier time um getting enough bone meal 
but let's go up our stairs, put our little spore blossom in so that we get our particle effects starting to come through. And it's gonna go right here. So we go up, just like that. Perfect, and it'll kind of just create some like magical vibes for us and our enchanting that we'll be doing. So now we go down our winding staircase. I feel like the staircases sometimes can like make you a little bit dizzy because you just are going in circles for so, so long. Okay. Now we're gonna grab the clay, make a bunch of pots. We've got our glass. I don't think I have bone meal anywhere. But we'll check. Um, we've got leaves, so we'll just do a little bit of leaf composting. And get some bone meal for the glass. Taking another sip of my coffee while we're just kind of hanging out here. See if I can like collect up the bone meal as it flings out. Okay. See, even this Minecraft sound, it just sounds so cool. Like, all the Minecraft noises are just great. I'm a big fan of them. I feel like we might just need like seven, I think. With seven, that should give us enough. Let's try this. Okay, yeah, definitely enough. And we'll leave the extra dye in here because I feel like that's like a very, uh, a sacred thing. <laughs> There's not a lot of it, but we've got our glass. I don't think I'll need all this extra glass. So we'll just leave glass in here. It's funny like what at this stage of the game I'm considering like valuable, right? <laughs> Like, I've got my pickaxes and my axes that are, like, almost done. We've got coal in here. Dye is important in my valuables chest. Like, it's just kind of funny. Um, but what did I want to make? I needed a lot of iron. I needed a lot of coal. And we need sticks. So we've got our sticks. And we're going to make a ton of torches. Then we need some more wood, so we'll use this birch up. There we go, we've got sticks now. And then we're going to make a bunch of lanterns. There we go, perfect. Nine lanterns, we definitely need more than that. Okay, now let's try this. 13, okay. 22 should be good. Uh, so we have lanterns, we've got the glass, we've got extra if we need it, but we're just gonna put these away for now. We've got 10 extra. Okay, we'll put them like this. And we're gonna make a bunch of pots next. We'll have 16 pots. And I don't know what else I'll need. I don't think I'll need item frames right now. Um, anything else? I think we'll be okay for now. We'll bring our pumpkins out because we can put those as decoration outside of it. But I think the leaves that I want to put on the roof are going to be the birch leaves because everything around us is oak and the dark oak, the orange and red. So having these birch leaves will probably contrast. They're pretty good. Um, I, I am going to get a little bit more bone meal just so that we can have some good old bone meal around the area just to get some more leaves and stuff and just like to add grass around again so we'll do a little bit more probably get like five okay well three works too um i think i have a bunch of yeah seeds so let's do some seeds i wonder like which minecraft items like bone meal the best like i wonder if that's a thing or if they're like all the same, like no matter how many of the item you put in, the quality of the item you put in, like will bone meal just give you the same amount? It's kind of interesting. Okay, perfect. 
So we got bone meal, we've got pots, we've got some stuff over there, so that should be good. And we'll do some decorating with these around. Okay. Phase two. I think this will be great. And we'll use some of the blocks over there to pillar up on the outside to add all our lanterns. Because that'll just be easier. Um, let's do some dirt. That'll probably be the easiest. Okay. Now, all we're going to do is literally put the lanterns like on that little slab. But we're just going to put lots of lanterns just so this area gets super well lit up. I want this to kind of be like a little beacon in a sense like it's very clear like where we need to go it just kind of shines in the night that's the idea I wanted it's nice that there's these trees everywhere not gonna lie this is like helping a lot because <laughs> I don't need to like do as much or go as far Ooh. oh that scared me can I reach you no okay I'm going up and like so perfect and down we go. Ooh, okay. And I think that was all of them, right? Oh, oh, definitely not. Definitely not. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, man. Okay. Going up and up, and there we go. Okay. Now that's all of them. Okay, let's free cam this. Oh, I missed that one, but look how much better that looks. Oh, I love it. Yay. Okay. Uh, well, we're just going to pillar up because we're right in front of it. And then the rest of these are just going to go on the exterior. But I also want to have some of these on the corners here. I think that could look cool. Yeah, just like lots of light. I like it. Let's do that. We're probably gonna use up all the lanterns we've made, but it's fine. We got a ton of iron recently, and we know where to go and get more. I really hope one of my first enchantments going through all of this is gonna be a uh, fortune three. Like, I would just much appreciate that if the game would just hear my my pleas for <laughs> for fortune three, so I can go get those diamonds. What's also nice is like because I don't really need to wear armor in this game because we're in peaceful mode, I can use the templates to just like, yeah, decorate the armor, right? It doesn't need to be like anything crazy. Like I can just use it for decoration and cool things like that, which I think is kind of fun. All right, I think I have to go down here. And like so, bop. Okay, perfect. Now let's get a free cam look. Ooh, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love that. It glows so well. You can definitely just tell this is like, nope, we're, we're here. It's our area. I love that so much. I kind of want to put a lantern on the top. We'll see if I regret that. Um, but we'll just see what it looks like. And I definitely need more. <laughs> okay, and let's do a little free cam. I use free cam so much for building. Mmm, I don't think I like it. I think it looks a little silly. It's just like a tiny little light. If we had like a bigger light, maybe. But if I, hi chicken, if I just like look away from it. Yeah, I like it without the light. Okay, well, we, tr we, tr we tried it, you know, that's uh, what we got to do. Okay, so now we're going to go down. We're going to make more torches and make more lanterns. Um, I didn't bring that with me, but let's quickly put, I wanna have some spruce again, cause we're gonna start making the shelves that we're gonna have our little pots sitting on. And we also need to make some chests as well, but we're gonna use some of the dark oak and some of the oak for chests. So we'll go like so, there's some. Um, we'll use some of this oak again. I actually use a lot more oak than I like think I do. So let's try some of this because oak is probably going to be like a main build palette in here, I would say. Okay, so we got four. So if I do like so. Okay. 
Okay. And then if I do like some pots right here, I don't think I like the idea of having that one right there, but we'll put one like here, right? And then our glass goes there and our pot can go there. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. And then we'll put another one right here. Cause then I can just like grab from here, but I also think it would just be better if I put like a crafting table here. So let's put a crafting table in. That'll probably be better. Um, I actually want it to go right there. I kind of like putting crafting tables in like corners cause then you can reach it, but it's not like too much in your way. So I like that, but let's add in our glass and a counter glass we do a counter Ooh, we're gonna get some like pretty like sunsets and sunrises from here i bet too which i love that idea that's gonna be really pretty i i love being able to just like look here okay perfect awesome okay so let's put pots along our little staircase we'll put some flowers to decorate we'll add some leaves in here it'll be great add some lanterns for sure okay awesome and then we'll just have like little pumpkins just like hanging out over here too just like outside you know and then we can even make like a, a jack-o-lantern to create some light So if we just have like kind of like a mix, like he can be on the top, but then these other ones can be right there. Like that's kind of fun. I like it. I like it. And then we need a lot of space to start putting. We'll start putting these in here, honestly. Uh, but we need space to put little things inside the little pots. So we'll go like so. Uh, we'll put a little mushroom, we'll put a green bit, one of you, we'll put a red mushroom, we'll put you, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, and any more, okay, anything else in here? There we go, okay, sweet, I like it. Perfect. And then we just got some autumnal decor in the plants with a little bit of green mixed in. I really like it. And these kind of uh, lanterns are going to be placed above windows. That's where I was thinking of putting them. Um, but in here, I just was thinking to like set them on shelves. So we're going to have our books right here like so. And then, like, I'll put a lantern, like, there on top of that. And then we'll just have the other ones with some of the spruce slabs. Um, we'll just have to complete those blocks. But then we can put them, like, right here above the windows. So we need more of those. We need to get all of our books and bookshelves. We need more of the spruce leaves. We're going to use probably the oak leaves on the inside. So we're going to collect oak leaves, we're going to collect birch leaves, we're going to go get sugar cane, and we're going to go get some more leather. So everything else we can kind of like put away for now. We'll put away all the woods, the bricks, and we'll, we're going to collect more vines as well because I think that'll look really good. Um, we don't need any more glass, we're good there. So kind of just like some of the vines can really only fit in like small spaces, which is fine. Like I'm okay with that, but we just need to slowly get more vines. But I think this is starting to look really cute. The vines definitely are going to make it like look a lot nicer and mixing in the red leaves with this and the vines, it's going to look really cool. So I think... We'll see. I think I do want to put some of these birch leaves over it just to help it stand out. But there's a lot of birch. I'm thinking out loud. The birch and this 
oh the oak and the birch leaves are gonna look really similar so maybe I mean this is mostly orange let's just try red because I think the red leaves are gonna look really well mixed in with the vines so that's what we're gonna collect next so we want to get more lanterns we're gonna get torches brought up so these are the things we're gonna go collecting um we're gonna grab more shears as well we'll just put those up there but i think this is gonna look so good like oh look at this dimension like we have to look up in our area more oh i'm loving it i think it's so cool okay let's go grab these new supplies we need can we see it from here oh there's too many trees can we see it from our base uh not really wow it's like so densely forested which i, I kind of like it honestly okay Let's grab some torches. We'll start there because we can start in our area. Um, we need more of that, little guys. Ten. Let's uh, let's make some more. I think fourteen should be good. We'll see if that's enough. We'll come back to it if it's not. I feel like we should be good on that. Um, we're gonna make more of our shears. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I did not, ooh. Okay, yep, didn't need that many. <laughs> okay, sugar cane, leather, and everything else. I think we're good. So let's go grab what else we need. We're gonna go get the birch leaves over by kind of where the ravine was. Same with the oak leaves, because we were kind of over by those two, like, oak and birch forests on the other side of here so we're gonna go back that way uh we also might grab a boat and just like start looking for a bunch of sugar cane just because we need a lot more than i thought we would need but you know that totally works we can just kind of go exploring our area more to go find some which i mean i think it's super fun exploring in a minecraft world like even if you're just kind of like going in one direction for a while, I just think it's fun. Like, it's a brand new seed. You don't really know what you're going to like uncover. I, I really enjoy it. I think exploring in the game is probably one of my favorite things to do. It just feels like so fun to me. I enjoy it. And there we go. Okay, I see a little bit of sugar cane. Oh, hi cave. Hello. Okay. Ooh, is this another ravine? Oh, I need to be careful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, not a ravine. That would be so sad if I just end up falling. I really don't want to lose my levels. I, like, need to keep them because I really want Fortune 3, but we might not get it in this episode, and that is okay. Like, that is genuinely okay. Um, I'm just going to get some of these. We're going to collect sugar cane, so we're going to make a boat. There we go, and put that down. Convert, make a boat, and we go sailing. I think I first want to collect as much sugar cane as possible. So let's go boating around and get some sugar cane. I also love the reflection of this. It's just so pretty. It just kind of looks like we're just going on glass, right? Okay, and this way, around the river bend, we got more sugar cane. Okay, good, good, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. More over there, perfect. We'll probably end up uh, just like putting a bunch of sugar cane along the riverside and just letting it grow while we're collecting up a bunch of our other blocks. I feel like that will make the most sense. Okay, so we're here. Oh, and there's little bees. We need to get bees in our area. Oh, look at this. What's this called? Just a birch forest. Okay. Wasn't sure if this was like an old growth one or whatnot, but okay. We're both by oak and by birch. So let's just kind of get some sugar cane growing. Hopefully, here, we're gonna move it over. Hopefully this will grow up quickly and then we will be good to go. 
but we'll start collecting our leaves. a good thing I have these uh, extra shears. I just went through one like really quickly. Okay. And we grab these. And yes, we are going to chop down these oak trees. We're not just going to leave giant sticks in the ground. We are not crazy. We are going to clean up our mess after we deforest. <laughs> Works great. Oh, there goes another axe. Okay. All right, so we have three stacks of oak leaves plus some. I feel like I just want like one more stack, so we'll do like four. Um, we'll also get some oak leaves and, or yeah, we'll get some birch leaves as well. And our sugar cane is not really growing, but it's okay. You know, we, we can be patient. Uh, we can go running around everywhere else to collect other things. It's totally fine. Nothing's wrong. It's great. But I just hope it works soon and grows quickly. tree chop down next i love the night sky like i just can't get over it like it's so peaceful to just have the aurora borealis like you can see like the galaxies in this and the stars i just it's so pretty i'm a big fan okay so let's see what we got all right so we got a little bit more of that we've got two of birch i think let's do Let's finish this stack and finish this stack, and that should be good. Then we just need to get more paper. That's like the biggest thing we need to find is just paper. And we have one more shear, so we're good there too. Just want to do another shear. Wonderful. Okay, perfect. So we've got this extra stack of oak. That works great. Now we just get rid of this guy and grab the birch. Okay, there we go. And let's get you. Perfect. Get you chopped down. Okay, and then you. And this one's a little taller, so we gotta go up higher. Okay, sweet. Okay. We got all the leaves we need. I'm pretty sure our uh, sugar cane probably hasn't grown at all, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make do with what we got. But I think this is great as far as, like, having leaves on hand, because I keep just composting them, like, way too much. But now we need to go on an adventure to find us a bunch of sugar cane. That is the next endeavor. And probably more leather while we're at it. Oh, hi guy, you just died? Okay, well, this didn't work as well as I thought it would. And I don't really have time to like wait. I kind of just want to like keep exploring, find more. Let's just see what we can find over here. See if there's any sugarcane on these sides. Ooh, there's a bunch, okay. Exploring at night time. I actually kind of like it. Ooh, oh, there's a bunch of sugar. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, get it. Grab it. These get really tall. I didn't think they could get this tall. I love it though. All the sugar cane. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, the next bunches of sugarcane were over here. Man, I guess I didn't realize how much sugarcane was, like, by the water by that village. This was, like, very nice. I'm, I'm very happy with that. We're just going to go in this little inlet, see if there's anything. If not, we're just going to loop back and grab that sugarcane. I just feel like this. Ooh, this is a flower forest. Ooh, hey, we can get white dye there. That's so good. I'm, I'm going to grab these now. <laughs> oh, there's some cows. Okay. But these give us white dye, and I need more of these in my life. Lily of the Valley flowers. I will take all of them. And they're pretty. Like, I like putting these in potted plants. Like, they're just pretty. So we're, we're bringing those home. Okay. I didn't see any sugar cane down here, so we're just going to go back. And grab the sugar cane along the shore. We're doing, we're doing good. I'm happy. We're getting closer to being able to make more books and make the enchanting table. And like, we're making progress. It's just slow progress. Okay, collected all of that. We've got 25 now. Doesn't seem like much. But it's basically like, yeah, not a, not a whole lot. <laughs> But if we get three, we've got three, six, seven books. So that's good. But then we need, you know, three books for a bookshelf. So it all adds up pretty quick. Okay, we got that sugar cane. There was a bunch down here. Excuse me, squid. Thank you. I'm, like, very surprised that the sugarcane here has, like, four tall ones. Like, I thought they couldn't grow four tall. I thought they could only grow, like, three tall. I thought that was, like, actually, like, a thing. Like, it couldn't grow too tall. Ooh, and there's some, and there's some. Ooh, yay, okay. This is actually, you know, even though we're having to just, like, explore everywhere, like, this is actually getting us a fair bit of sugarcane pretty quickly like i'm actually very happy with this progress okay we got that got all of that perfect okay i think i saw some down this way 52 though that's almost a stack like that's i feel good about that i mean that's quite a bit of sugarcane um Ooh, and this goes out to sea again, I'm assuming. Oh, there's some sugar cane. Okay, perfect. You know, I don't really, like, explore a ton to get my sugar cane, but this, this is working pretty good. Like, 58? Like, I'm, I'm happy with this. If we just do some exploring a little bit more, we'll have plenty. For some reason, I thought the black sheep was, like, a bear. And I was like, uh, <laughs> I did not put you in this mod pack. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a, another portal. <gasps> Ooh, have I looked in this before? I think I did. Let's, I think I looked in this already. Maybe I didn't. I mean, sure, we'll take stuff. Why not? Ew. Cool. All right. <laughs> Let me go. Oh gosh, that's always scary when it wants to like take your boat. Okay, well we still have less than a stack, but this is much, much better. I feel like we're gonna be pretty close, if not have what we need. So we're just gonna go around the outside of this little bend here, this shoreline, and see if there's any more sugar cane. This is the direction we went for the Mushroom Island that we have nearby our area, which was also a fun little find. I literally, like, picked the seed just because I wanted to spawn. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, you can see our tower from the water. Oh, that's so pretty. And the reflection. Oh, that's so cozy. I love that. Oh, yay. Okay, that's amazing. I, ugh. I love it. It's so fun. Okay. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Don't you love that? When, like, <laughs> you just get distracted by the Minecraft things. But, 
yeah i feel like we'll have pretty close so let's just uh, go in didn't seem like along the shoreline we were gonna have too much more so let's just go and see if we can make our books hi piggy he said hi back you hear him oink at me he said hi back in his own little piggy language okay and we're back wonderful okay um we've got some more armor even though we don't really use it <laughs> okay let's try this oh look at all that okay books 13 books okay and i needed obsidian obsidian book and that okay <gasps> enchanting table yay oh my gosh okay Enchanting table, check. Bookshelves, uh, two, okay. But we can fix this, we've got lots of wood. Four, I think we have 13 now. We're like so, so, so close. Oh, now we're out of leather. <gasps> the plot thickens. I didn't think that leather would be the thing I'd run out of first, but let's place these in. Let's, first of all, put our diamonds back not losing the precious diamonds okay and we'll bring our leaves with us so these are the things that we're going to place in the area perfect okay yay oh my gosh okay we're like so so close i'm really really happy about this we're like almost there i need like a little bit more of the leather and i did take it out so it's, it's fine <laughs> Okay, and we need more spruce slabs. Okay, there we go. Because then this will help us whenever we need to like add a slab to complete. Like these are all full blocks right now, so this is easy. Get rid of that torch, don't need that anymore. You're a full block, full block. Some of these were halves. Yeah, like you're a half. Full block, you're a half. We'll just go like that though there we go okay yay okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so we have eleven not quite there we go okay look at that oh i'm so excited we're actually getting our enchanting table set up it's so good i'm so happy oh it's so good so helpful literally the best okay okay so we have two four six eight ten eleven twelve thirteen oh we need a lot more two four six eight ten eleven man okay well that's fine we've got more paper we will make more books then leaves on the inside and the outside is the next thing i want to do so we're just going to kind of like create some fun little leaves on the outside and the inside of this place we'll kind of like mix them in a little bit i kind of want them to like be hanging as well so a little bit like so and then we can kind of like weave them down at certain points when it makes sense um okay like that add some in here obviously like we're gonna have some of these like just like slab things that just won't really make as much sense and we'll just kind of like move blocks accordingly oh i don't know why that's there go like so so then it just kind of creates like a color pop in here which is what i was very excited for is just color being in here put that there and right there Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, and what I'm doing is just like placing some, but then like walking through to see if I like think it's a little too much. Cause sometimes it will feel like it's too much on these bottom ones. Cause it'll kind of like block me from being able to move well, but we'll just throw in some of them every once in a while. 
I just mainly want like color. That's like the thing I'm most looking for is just adding color. Okay, perfect. Ooh, and just hide some in the corner. I like that too, okay. And then we can just put the rest of this in there for now. All the birch and everything. And then we're gonna just add the leaves to the outside as well. So we're gonna grab, oh, we did, okay, no, I was gonna say, did we use up our shears? I didn't think we did. Okay, we're gonna hop around. Once we get the leaves on the outside of this building, we pretty much have everything done. And all we need to do is go find those last, last few uh, pieces of leather so that we can actually have our bookshelves working. Okay, but we're going to go like so, and I want to have my pickaxe out in case we need to like move some of these blocks for this. Because putting some in these corners here is going to really help things, so we're going to go like so. And then I want to like look in free cam to see like how I want to like add in other ones. So I'm going to put a block like right here because that'll kind of help us like move it around the other sides. And then that's looking good. And then we're going to like run some of these leaves under the side and just like weave it along. We're going to add a block on this other side though. I think that'll look much better like that and then we'll just weave that along so this is good usually what i'll try to do with the leaves is like scatter them but also have them kind of like two sections of it sticking through on one side so like you'll be able to see this section of leaf and this section of leaf just on this one side right and do the same thing on all four sides so that's kind of what i try to do with leaves and like placing leaves um trying to you know make it look not just like a straight down line as well that's the other thing you don't want to just like have it straight down because it won't look as natural so you kind of want to like put some variation behind it so like this is going to look better because it's like coming through and then it curves and then we're just going to move it right here Okay, and then we go like so, like so, and so, like so, and kind of just like do a little bit of that. It kind of makes it look like a fairy tale, kind of like a roof, but I don't mind that. I think it's cool. Now we're going to add leaves on the sides over here. Ba -ba -da. Okay, we'll go like this, like this like so pick these up i think i had some like leaf blocks fall but i think i picked them up already okay and then like that we're gonna kind of curve this one around like so so that again this side has two sections of leaves on it not just the one. Oh, i love the particles look at the particles you can see literally spore blossoms are my favorite thing I am obsessed with spore blossoms. Like, particles just bring so much life to the area. I love it so, so much. Literally some of my, like, favorite things in the game. Um, let me see again. Let's have one go here, and then we'll curve it this way. So we're going to remove this and place a leaf block, and then we'll push it back over here. Just like a soap. Perfect. And then, yeah, then we'll come down like here, and then we'll just work on this other side. And yeah, I think this is good. I'll come from like right here. I feel like this is good. Or should I? Now nah, we'll put one there. I think that's good. Yep. A lot of my leaf placing is just like back and forth till I like how it looks. So if you're trying to figure out how to like do leaves better, you kind of just like play around with it until you're happy with what you just came up with that is the the biggest part of it i would say and then we're gonna come down to these trees i think then i can like get some of this below area perfect 
Okay. Uh, don't need that one. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're going in like this. Okay, like so. We're actually gonna go like two down. See, again, I'm literally just like placing a bunch of blocks until I'm happy with it. So you can kind of just do this as you see fit, what makes sense for your area, how you like to add leaves, all of it. Okay, and then I want this. Okay, down like so. Okay, perfect. And then we'll like take a step back. See, this goes out too far for me. So we're gonna curve it, do a little curve inward. Hmm. Would I like that better? Maybe I don't like that. Is that a little bit better? Yeah, that's a light, a little better. It's not like as like straight down. Okay, I'm liking that better. Now on this side, I don't think I can like get there right now, so I have to move. Um, okay, I thought I could reach that leaf. I cannot. That is fine. Okay, I'm liking it. All right, we're kind of just like going on the sides like so, but I do honestly kind of like it. I feel like it works well, like it's not too crazy. Like if I just back up. It's a little too like organized, I will say. So like having like three here, you know, just like scattering it more. It's too like symmetrical, right? So like having like a few extras like placed, you know, I think will be better. Cause if it's too symmetrical, it doesn't look as like natural. Okay, so I like that better. It's hard to tell with my leaf pile here. All right, we're just gonna Scooch back a little bit. Uh, it's a little better. I might just add some like ones to the side. I feel like that'll be good. So like something like so. Just a little little scatter, right? Just a little little extra dude. Just kind of chilling. Um yeah, just something. Okay. Grab our leaves here. And then... Cool. Um, I'm good with that. Just kind of comes down over here. And we might need to get more. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we'll add some here. We literally just have like these ones left, so I can just like, use them sparingly. Okay, I think that'll be good. And then we need to start on these sides. Get up here. Okay, what do I think of these red leaves so far? Ooh, yeah, I think that's nice. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Perfect, okay. So, let's try to go up here again. We'll start here. This kind of gets us, like, close to this side, so this will be good. Um, And then let's go down here. 
Again, we're gonna like scatter some on the sides just to like make it look a little different. Oh, cool, okay. And then we had a little pumpkin friends. Sure, I will remove that. Okay, I feel good about that. Okay, then I'm going up again. We still got enough, I think we'll be fine. Okay, and now I'm gonna pillar up with the birch just because it's easier to see. Okay, because once we get this done, we're basically on to just collecting more leather. Like, we're doing good. And I'm very proud of that. Okay, so we're gonna be adding some little friends on the side. Can't do that one. Um, Just gotta kind of look out. And then we'll go like so. So we'll go like this. Add more down a little bit. We can like back up and like look at it. Okay, so like there needs to be something else above here. Right, so like add another one. I think that's looking better. Okay, and then go like so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go, okay. Mm, yeah, we'll go with that. Mm. Kind of like it, kind of don't, but I think I, I like the red leaves. I just have to figure out a way to like make them look how I want them to look. That's the like biggest thing is like, they can look so good, but how do I make them look how I want them to? But I think this is like good for starting. I'm very happy with this. We just need to go find more of the silly little leather and finish this. So we're gonna just uh, go on an adventure, find some more cows and we've got our ax, so we'll be good. We don't need the pickaxe and we're gonna go take a little nap and let's take a step back. Ooh, yeah, okay. I think this is looking really pretty. Yeah, it's cozy. I like it. I'm happy with it. It's very glowy. I think it's pretty. And then we just take a nap and go get more leather from cows. Or, you know, horses, but I, I want to just get them from cows. It's uh, not as sad if you get them from cows, I feel like. Okay. I'm probably going to go a different direction than I usually do and trying to breed up my cows would take too long so we're just gonna go explore a different direction and see if we can find some animals that way because uh, you know I've probably kind of depleted the population of cows nearby oh look there's our bunny friend but I probably have gotten rid of quite the amount of cows uh, kind of near our area so we're gonna go elsewhere. So I think there should be a river over here. And I don't necessarily think anything like spawns in these old taigas, but there's other biomes around. So we're gonna go this way and see what we find. I think there's, yeah, okay. This was a little narrow river way, which is great. We're so close to getting our leather that we need. We just gotta keep our eyes open for some little, little. Oh, look there, I've come down this way before. Here's another boat of mine. Let's clean up our mess though, right? Okay, 
and we keep going this way. I think I was looking for like sugarcane or animals this way as well. I think I was trying to find animals to fill my area with is when I was over here. Oh yeah, look, I was trying to boat through because <laughs> I didn't want to get out of my boat. <laughs> Wee. Okay, this is the plains. So I feel like, oh wait, is that cobble? Hang on, is that a spawner? It's like very random, but I just am curious now. Oh, there's another doggo. Hi, piggy. It looked like this was gonna be a spawner. <gasps> Ooh, it is a spawner. Okay, Um, quick detour. Let's see what is actually in here. Oh, excuse me. Leaves. Low. I'm trying to get through here. This is very precarious, my goodness. Okay, I guess I do need my pickaxe. Wasn't expecting that today. But that's cool. I wonder how spawners would work. Because the, the little... Ooh, wow. We didn't have our spawner working for the other mobs. What did we find? Ooh, it's a zombie one. Nice. See, the thing is, I don't think they're going to spawn. Even if I were to, like, close this up. String. We'll, we'll take string. Oh, bones! Oh, I can get a dog! Yes! Oh my gosh, and a saddle! <gasps> Yay! Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so, yeah, I forgot dungeons. I could definitely get them in dungeons. Yay! Okay, that's amazing! Okay, we've got some horse armor. Well, that's fun. Okay, screenshotting this. Um, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with it because I don't think it's gonna spawn them at all. Like, I think they just are stuck because they're not necessarily, like, going to spawn to come and get me. So, kind of just a, a cool thing to find, but not a whole lot to do with it. Um... Let's find some cows now. We should be able to find cows in these plains somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, this doesn't look very promising. But we shall boat. And we shall look. But there's more sugarcane. I'm, I'm always going to take the sugarcane. Okay. And we keep boating. I really hope we're able to find more cows. I see a lot of sheep and pigs. I wonder if I came here looking for cows. That could be a problem. Just like completely uh, exterminating the previous population of cows <laughs> for the sake of an enchanting setup. Oh, this is like, wow, this is quite the beach. My goodness. Hmm. Wow, any cows? Oh, okay. I see three. And maybe three is all I have. Ooh, oh, no, there's some there. Okay, okay. We're going to those ones and then the other group. Okay. You know, sometimes you just need to go a little bit higher up and get a bird's eye view of what's around you. Works great. Okay. Chop the boat. No, come back. And now we get our last bits of leather. We make our bookshelves. We have an enchanting table. Ooh, yay, four. Yay. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Happy, um, happy. Sorry, cows. Thank you for your sacrifice. I appreciate you dearly. I've been literally scouring these plains for you, okay? Like, oh. Do we get a chicken? Nope. Okay. We have six. We're, we're making it. Slowly but surely, we're making it. I am curious, just quickly, to check the top of this. Like, if there's, like, a whole bunch of... Ooh, there's cows over there. I see them. I was gonna say, if there's, like, a whole bunch of cows over here and I'm just, like, walking away from them, I'd feel a little silly. <laughs> oh, see, there's a cow. Yeah, okay. What's over here? Any villages? Taiga village? Ooh, what's also fun, guys, is we are able to go exploring and finding trail ruins because I made this mod pack in uh, 1.20. Oh, and you didn't give me anything. Okay, nice. 
anything anything nope okay let's just go down on the other side of this hill where we saw that group of cows and then we're gonna go over that way next we're just gonna grab all the cows we can grab because i'm pretty sure i need more than just six leather at this point i feel like i should also like breed them up i thought i grabbed the the hay maybe that would have been a good idea because i'm just uh exterminating all cows in the surrounding area Ooh, 10. I love that. We love to see the multiple drops. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. It's a little bit sad when they don't drop anything, though. Like, no leather, because then I'm like, I only, like, killed you because I wanted you to have leather. Like, I killed you for nothing. Like, just like that. No, don't do it, cow! No, are you trying to hide from me? Oh, that was just meat. Okay, didn't need that. Up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. 14? Okay, we're doing good. Just meat, okay. It's fine. Ooh, there's a bunch of sheep over there if I need any of that. And pigs. Okay, 16. 18. M meat. 20, okay. Perfect. There's another group of cows over there. We're gonna go to them, and then I think we'll be done. Ellie, we okay. In the boat, we're going in the boat. It's so weird that the oars will paddle, but your Minecraft hands just like stay there, <laughs> just like frozen. You know, like you're not really doing anything. You're just like cool. Okay, and. Now we make our way up. There we go. Okay. And I knew there was some cows somewhere. Right there. Perfect. All right. Perfect. I think we'll be good. Once we get these cows, I feel like we'll be good on leather. Okay. Just that. Two. Just meat. <laughs> uh, maybe not. One. All right. Oh, not too promising. We've been gone a whole day for this. Um, okay. Oh, my sound went out again. Let's see if it comes back. I don't know why my sound goes weird. Oh, it's back. Okay. Momentary loss. Maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys hear it fine. But every once in a while, it might just be my speakers. They, like, go a little wonky, and then I can't hear the game sounds. Ooh, more cows. Yay. Just meat. Uh, at least I can feed my dogs. Once I get a dog. One. Alright, come on, cow. Just meat. Aw, man. Okay. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Precarious. Nice. Ooh, more iron. Okay, good, good. Okay, I feel like we are good. Let's just, like, try. I think I needed, like, what, four more? I need, like, four more books, something like that. Um, okay. So we've got six books. We need more sugarcane, I think. Uh, just so close. I think I can make two bookshelves out of this. But I'm good on, it's now the sugarcane again. <laughs> We will not leave floating trees. Don't you worry. We will chop the whole thing down because we are not crazy. And I need to see the rest of the tree. Okay. You're part of the tree. You're part of the tree. Just these ones. Okay. I feel like that's the rest of the tree. Could be wrong, but I feel like that's all it is. Now, we make bookshelves. Yeah, only two. Okay. Um, make more books. I only have two. I need more than that. So, we are back, indeed, to the hunt for sugarcane. Because I think I had, what, 11 books? 
I feel like continuing this way could be maybe something promising. There's like water down here. We'll see if there's any sugar cane. I didn't think I saw any in here. No. Okay. Let's try going over this way. There's a lot of lava pools. I can see three of them just glowing. I need to be careful. I don't go too close to some of these ravines. Um, that would not be good. And we go like so. Plop. Okay. Sugarcane, sugarcane. Wow, there's so many lava pits. If I need a lot of obsidian, like, I know where to go. This is impressive. Okay, just grass. Hmm. You know. Oh, is this my village? It could be my village. Either way. Um. We've got some pumpkins. I'm gonna take the pumpkins. But I probably should have been, like, slowly just, like, collecting sugarcane as we went. Probably would have been good. But honestly, like, if I don't find all of the books that I'll need, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that for now. Like, we'll just build it up over time. Like, we're not trying to, like, speed run in this world. We're just trying to have a good time. So, like, if it takes me a little bit, like, that is okay. I'm seeing some sugarcane now, though. I'm pretty sure this is a new village. I don't think I've been there. I saw a bunch of sugarcane back there, so that's wonderful. Um, I'm just going to see on the other side of this. No sugarcane? Okay, just here. So we're going to grab this sugarcane. Go for a little swim. Just grab it. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. It's a little bit harder to swim now. Come on. Okay. I heard something splash. Okay. Can't let that escape. We're just gonna like make the paper as we go, just so we can easily make the books. I feel like that'll just be easier. Oh, look at that. Okay, I think once we grab the sugarcane over by that village, I think we have it. <gasps> Yay, okay, we're pretty much done. Let's just investigate this uh, village. This looks new. So I'm curious if we're gonna find anything good. Watch me literally find like a whole like, librarian dude like watch me just find all of the books i could have ever wanted and i, I just didn't see this little uh, village on the side here hiding behind a mountain the whole time okay let's see what they got oh they got one of the ocean guys oceanographer paper though we will always take the paper hello bless the paper that's what we say Hi, dude. Hello. That's the oceanographer's house. How cute. Okay, there's more sugarcane. Oh, and the cleric's house. Nice. Grabbing this sugarcane. Okay. And we'll make this into paper as well. And make those into books. And... Oh, I think we've got it. Yay. Okay, we're just gonna go looking through this village. And call it good. Also, look how much meat I've gotten just from trying to get these uh, little little guys. I'm just going to toss some of these things that I don't really need. Because I've got a bunch of extra blocks. I'm just trying to clear my space a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can find anything valuable in here. We're just going like, to check all of the rooms just in case there's something that we might want. Okay, nobody. Just some dude sleeping. I don't think this one has a blacksmith either. Sorry, you're sleeping. But you know, we're, we're fine with that. Ooh, you're hard to get to. Ooh. Um, it's just food, not super big priority. And what about you? Anything in here? Nope. Okay, yeah, I didn't think there was. There's an iron golem though. Like, I'll, I'll take iron. Feels a little weird that I can just do this and like he doesn't attack me. Like this feels a little sad. Like I'm not gonna lie. Uh, R.I.P. Um, thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Just wow, that was five. Five is pretty good. But it does feel a little weird that on peaceful mode they like won't attack you. Also, this poor dude is stuck in the house. I think. <laughs> Are you stuck? Oh, you were the netwit. You could just, you know, stay stuck. 
I'm sure everyone was, you know, real concerned about where you went. Okay, we're just gonna grab some extra books because if I want to just like roll some books on the enchanting table, that'll be nicer to have, just like, extras of books. Except those guys didn't give me a whole lot. Um, okay, I think now we're just gonna head back home. I think it's just gonna be a lot of running this way. And then I'm at 24 levels, so we don't have like a perfect 30. Um, how much do is... Wow, we don't get a lot for sheeps or things. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to get our levels up in this uh, peaceful mode, but I think it'll be okay. We'll figure out a way. We'll probably just start trading with villagers. That'll probably be our like main way to do it. But my only goal today was to get all the resources I needed to be able to go and get us a little enchanting tower all set up and we accomplished that so you know I'll just walk over my boat we're just gonna go and set it all up and i will be uh, very happy it's just so pretty i love it being in peaceful mode is like exactly what it is it's very peaceful like you know that nothing is going to spawn at night. You can just enjoy looking around. You don't need to be fully focused on where you're headed. As long as you know the direction you're going to go, like you can just relax, enjoy the time you're in your boat. Look at the moon, the stars, the galaxies. It's just beautiful. It's, it's actually kind of nice to play a different game mode. It's a little bit weird though, like the challenge in peaceful mode is you don't have easy access to get XP because the spawners don't like work. So I'm just hoping that I can still hopefully at least get some of the villager traits. Ooh, let's get our dog friend, shall we? We've got bones. Let's get a little dog. Hey puppy, come here. Now that I know how to get bones are also in dungeons. Hello. Please don't take them all. <gasps> Yay, we have a dog. Okay, um, I don't really have any colors, but I mean, for now, you can follow me. We'll find you some different colors later on. But you want to just follow me? You can come along the shoreline. I hope he follows me. Okay, you're following me. Perfect. I'm just like... If I just get him stuck, that would be a little sad. Just gotta make it through the waterways. You following me, puppy? Come on, puppy. Let's go. There you go. You're coming. Okay, I love it. Love to see it. Are you stuck, puppy? Can you see me? Ooh, you really speed, speed through. That works, though. Okay, I think I need to... Yeah, we just keep going this way. Oh, yeah, you can see my tower right there. See, it's so nice having our tower. It's great. Okay. Doggo, gotta go to the side shore again to make sure they follow us. Heh, <laughs> okay. Long as you're following me, I'm going to be happy. If you get lost, I will be very sad because I literally just got you. Come on, Dago. Zoom. Zoom on. Come on. Come on. Bro, just... Ooh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Good job, dog. <laughs> I was like, hello, come on. All right, and then come over here. Yep, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> I need to like two hours later. Come on, teleport. I know you can do it. Come on. Nice and easy. We have bookshelves to install in our tower. Really? Are you really? Okay, what if I just keep going? If I go further, will you teleport? Hello? Bruh, that'll go. You are so close. Come on. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh, okay. Yep, that shoot just takes you a bit. Okay, yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, as long as you're coming along, you know, that's what I care about. That's what I care about. Okay, let's go back to our area. And I think I'm just gonna like, yes, okay, perfect. You're following me now. Let's just go through the forest to get to our area because I don't know what it's gonna be like for this one to, oh my gosh, move, there we go. To try to navigate everything else. Seems a bit uh, challenged. Yeah, come on, dog. Come on, doggy. Doggy dog. But I am glad that we can actually get dogs. Like, I was a little bit sad because I didn't know a way to get bones. Okay, but there's our area. Yay. Okay, you are going to be our guard dog to the tower. Since we found you by the tower and I have bone meal, let's give you a pink collar. Okay, I think that'll be cool. Okay, let's give you... Oh, no, I see you looking at my sheep. They're not for you, okay? Oh, I like the pink collar. That's cute. Okay, come up here. You need to step away from my poor sheep. Okay, now, come here. Yep, right there. You're gonna hang out right here, okay? Perfect, okay. Now, we get to put the bookshelves... And then go test out to see if we've got a full level 30 bookshelf place. We're going to get rid of that. Okay, I think we do, which is awesome. So we're just going to leave these up here to create other books. I don't think anything else we'll need in here. So we're going to bring it down. And what's cool is like this also kind of doubles as a storage room, honestly. Because like I can put... A bunch of leaves in here, right? I can put, like, other armor in here. I can put extra, like, saddles, hold the horse-related stuff in here. I can put, like, mob drops in here so that we can just have those on hand. Like, I can just make that middle pillar be storage for us, which is really fun. But let's go get our tools and our lapis and see what we can get. I just wanna make sure we have level 30. If we get level 30, I will be a happy camper. And we're gonna bring these with us, all these tools. We'll probably like bring some iron with us and our diamonds and just keep them there. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. Ah, this feels good. This feels like progress. And then we'll be able to have our tools last us longer. If we roll unbreaking, it'll be wonderful. I will be so, so happy. And we've got our little guard dog. We need a name for this one. So in the comments below, if you want to leave a name for our little dog, that would be great. We got to go up our winding staircase. Ooh, okay. Moment of truth. Huh. Fortune two. I, I mean, I will honestly take fortune too at this point. Um, what am I missing? Maybe let's try putting some bookshelves. We also need to have a crafting table in here. So maybe we stick a crafting table block like in this corner. Would that be good? I feel like that would be good. So let's go like so... Okay, so we'll put our books back together. And I bet I need to have some on this other side. Like, I think that's what it is. 26, okay, so that did help it. So it's just the ones at the top, maybe. Maybe these are too high. So we'll go like that. Get our books back. Okay, there we go. Let's try this now. Okay, see what we get. 28, hmm. Put one there maybe. 30, <gasps> oh, fortune three though, that's on the X. Oh, fortune three, oh my God. Oh, but that's so good. We can get fortune three like pretty quick. 
Oh, this feels good. Okay, well, knowing that the first enchant we rolled is going to be fortune three feels so good. And I think, honestly, I'm going to call this long play here. I got done everything that I wanted to get done. We were able to get a full level 30 enchanting setup in here. And I think this is really cozy. It is a bit like of a uh, journey to get through the winding staircase part of it. But I think it's cute. I love it. It's very fun. Um, the last thing I want to add is, of course, a door. And we're going to use a spruce door. So we're going to go on the inside here. Pop that down. And there we go. We've got our completed enchanting tower in free cam. This is what we got. And if we just zoom out, our area is slowly but surely coming together. Our little corner of this autumn world. But that is all the time that I will have for this long play. I hope you enjoyed the, the commentary along with the long play. And I hope you have a wonderful day.